tun dürfen. What's up, people? What's going on? Welcome back to the channel. We are live, man. It's episode 100 of the RGD Podcast. How you guys doing? What's up? Uh, boy, we're here. <laughs> Let me just adjust my microphone. Make sure everything's good. We should be heard. Yep. What's up, though? What's up, guys? What else we got up in here? We got... Oh, Jess Ray filling up. What's up? What's up, uh, Trey? Hey, Don. Overdone. Lobo, Jack, what's up? Uh, Vansity. What's in here? Spartan, what's up? Spartan. Billy T. So? Some of these guys, baby. There we go. All right. Well, everybody's uh, jumping in as we speak, so uh, they'll be here in a few minutes, so we're just going to wait for them. But I'll be looking at these intros. What's up, the Messiah? Yeah, what's happening? I'm excited. I started my uh, big Xbox podcast this week, so uh, oh. I'll be doing another one here in another another couple of weeks. So yeah, shout out to everybody that's here, and uh, shout out to the chat. Hit that like button, people. All right, all right. What's up, Blaze? What's up, bro? Yo, what up, bro? I cannot believe this is the hundredth episode. What a what a milestone for you. Um, and I can't wait to follow up on that nice interview you've done. We'll get into that. But I'm just happy to be here. So with my boy, my dogs, get it going, dog. Yeah, definitely, man. It's uh, a lot to go over. A lot, lot's happened. A lot's happened this week. What's up, The Finest? What's up, Peff? Billy? Um, C4, it's new face. What's going on? Yeah, he's showing up. He'll be in like a few minutes. He was here early. I guess he had to reset his computer. Chris, what's up? Bob? What's in here? What's going on? So... Man, uh, hell of a week, but you know how it is. We got to get the day over with, so let's definitely, um, let's touch on a topic while we wait, all right? So it was been, it's been reported that supposedly Ratchet & Clank is uh, being made, and it's going to be a PS5 launch exclusive. What's your yeah. thoughts on it? Well, I'll start with you, boys. Problem. Ah, oh, there he is. So, problem. Fox, get your intro out there. Sorry, bro, big problem. Uh... Yeah. No problem. Computer problem, you know, computer, eh? No, no problem. How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? I'm doing good, man. Doing good. Sounds like Nico Bellic, man. <laughs> well, you know, <laughs> you know, we have to get by somehow, eh? <laughs> What's your computer uh, crashed? No, you. I got kicked out of Discord. Oh wow! And they said, "Oh, you have to update." And I'm goes, well, why didn't you tell me before you let me in the first time? <laughs> so I had to go through this whole update, and then it let me back in. Ah, okay. I was like, it said you guys went offline. That was weird. I guess shut down. All right, well, let's definitely uh, knock these topics out, man. Then we're definitely going to follow up on... Uh, I'll follow up a few things, um, answer some more questions. A lot of you guys questions for me after the interview with Gio Corsi. I want to say shout out to everybody on the channel who made that possible. Uh, it was awesome. Got to talk to uh, one of the coolest Sony execs in the world and got some insight on what really happens ex, back there. Ex Sony well, exec. Ex Sony exec, but yeah. He ain't part of the family no more. <laughs> well, I got a little insight on how they worked and how things were, and that was cool. That was really cool. But, yeah, but you um, know you always got love for your ex-girlfriend. You, you'll still take her now. Nah, nah, nah. He a man, dude. He a man. Bro, oh, we God, know who he is. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> so... Let's definitely knock this out the part. Let's start with you the first You said Ratchet topic. and Clank, though? Yeah, Ratchet and Clank. Bro, Ratchet reports, and Clank is so around. underrated, bro. Like, that game, uh, Ratchet and Clank is super dope, bro. The last Ratchet and Clank they released on the PS4 uh, was absolutely beautiful with a pro patch HDR. That's honestly some of the best implementation of HDR, period. Like, that game is so incredibly fun and beautiful, bro. Ratchet and Clank is fire. For real. Yeah, it looks like a Pixar movie, don't it? Dude, I'm telling you, dude. Crazy. Even the hair is on the face, like the little um, f like piece of hair, like in the in the light when he turns around and stuff like that. It looks Incredible. really really good. 
And um, you already know it's going to be even better if this is true that they're making this for a PS5. This is going to be a launch exclusive. This is one of those games. Um, me personally, uh, when I heard about it, again, I'm not really shocked by it at all. Obviously, this is definitely going to be a priority for Insomniac, but the main priority, I think, personally, would probably be Spider-Man 2, and this yeah, would be this more of a... this is the B-team, man. Yeah. B-team. Yeah. So that's what it's I... probably going to come at. out on PS4 as well, because if you think about it, PS4 is transitioning away from being that mainstream console to mm -hmm. more of a niche console for, like, younger people, because Sony already said they want to market it to younger people in its twilight years, similar to how they did with the PS2, you know, mm, make yeah. it tiny and pack it, package it with SingStar and iToy and all that stuff. But I feel like a Ratchet and Clank version will come out on PS4 as well. It may not be the same as the PS5 version, but I feel like they will because it's the idle kind of game to give to that audience you're leaving behind for the new generation. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it's kind of like passing the torch, it feels, at this point. Like, the last uh, true bangers we're going to get for PS4, obviously, The Last of Us 2 and uh, Ghost of Tsushima are, like, some of the main highlights. Obviously, third-party games are still good, but the passing of the torch kind of thing will be after The Last of Us 2, or actually, no, Ghost of Tsushima at this point, and then but, uh, PS5 yeah. will have the full ranks and title. I'm going to say something maybe a bit controversial, but you have to remember, this is my taste and my preferences Mm -hmm. It doesn't, what I like doesn't apply to everybody and vice versa. But Insomniac is in, easily in my top five studios on PlayStation, easily. And I yeah. love their games. But Ratchet and Clank is a series that I've never really, I can honestly say I cared about. Mm -hmm. I'm more for Resistance and Spider Man and, you know, those type of games. Yeah. Like Ratchet is good. And I know it's got a following and it's like a, well, it's, it's not a really a following. mascot. Yeah. It's not a mascot like Mario, but. It's it's a fairy character and it's on Sony's platform, mm -hmm. but you know it, it did look good. I I bought the last one, but I never ever finished it because it didn't. Wow. It looks great, but once you get past the eye candy, the gameplay is good as. But once you get past all that, I didn't really resonate with the character. Ah. You know, I'm not really a Ratchet fan. I, yeah. I think it's a good game, but I can't say that that's what I look forward to when you talk about Insomnia. Yeah. If you think about Ratchet and Clank, this is probably one of the most like this is the longest survivor when it comes to Sony's uh, first party wise. When it comes, uh, yeah, Ryan, parts. I don't want to cut you off. That's exactly it. Like yeah. if you look, so, Ratchet and Clank has been the the staple when it came to the PSP, the PS Vita, the PS2, mm -hmm. the PS3 remasters. It's it's honestly, if you ask if you ask uh, Insomniac like what's dear to their heart, they love Resistance, and yeah, a lot of people prefer Resistance. But they love Ratchet and Clank, bro. They it's, do. It's like a it's like a classic PlayStation game. Right, but even right. in the early PlayStation days, like PS1, I wasn't big on Ratchet. Because you gotta remember, I come from a time when every console had a mascot. Sega had Sonic, Nintendo had Mario, Microsoft tried to tried to have blinks. That didn't really catch on. They tried so many characters. Do you know what I mean? Jack and, and Sony, 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 Sony did as well, and none of them really can compete. When you're talking about, oh, this character is really a mascot for the, the platform. Nintendo's got it with Mario, haven't haven't they? Like Sega's definitely got it when they had their consoles. It was Sonic, but I feel like Sony and Microsoft have always tried to chase that, and they never ever really achieved it. So it's good that Ratchet's still around and it's it's like heritage for PlayStation. Yes, yeah, royalty. And I and I, I love it that people love the game and I want it to exist. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying all this because I'm thinking, oh, don't make it. Yeah, make it for sure. I'm just saying, me personally, it's not the Insomniac game that I most look forward to. Yeah, I agree. What, I mean, what, it's what, what is the resistance? Huge bitch. Yeah, hmm? I prefer if they remade Resistance, I'd take that over Ratchet and Clank. Oh, me, bro. At this point in my life, um, I agree. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, especially uh, I, I, I would take resistance. Yeah, if it's any like day the of the original, week. Same. Yep. Um, if it's the same, like I like the style. I don't know about y'all. I like the style of the first. This was a lot better where she, like, the chick was narrating the whole story, and like they right. were showing like the destruction, the different chimera. Um, yeah, but I wanted to change that whole. Yeah, but I wanted to change the whole war theme. You know, World War Two and all that stuff. You right. don't need to do that again. Let's. It doesn't. It doesn't have to be modern, but just change the premise. If you're gonna reboot, setting. 
Yeah. If you're gonna reboot it, do it properly. Don't make it like set in the same kind of theme. Yeah. You know. Hey, 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 you got a, you got a super chat. I do. I um. Let me see. Hold on. Let me pull out my OBS. Sorry. Uh, the Raven Flow two dollar super chat. I appreciate it, brother. He says, uh, "Ratchet is the true first party successor to Crash." I actually do agree because after Crash Bandicoot pretty much was done. Um, that's all we had was Ratchet. Ratchet really was like the main poster boy. Sly Cooper also filled in the void a little bit for certain portions right. of games. Yeah, but the Sly thing Cooper. is, uh, you, right. you've heard, you know the thing with Sly Cooper, though? You, we, we're hardcore, so we know that character. But you ask anybody out there in the casual world, like, they know Mickey is Disney. They know Mario is Nintendo. They know Sonic is Sega. But they don't know nothing about, you know, Sly Cooper. Uh, trust me, they don't know. We yeah, know. Yeah, the devi- we know. That, like the devious raccoonas or But no one's like not gonna make a Sly Cooper movie. Do you know what I mean? No one's ever gonna make a Sly Cooper movie. That was yeah. supposedly being worked on, or was it a TV show and it was something like that? No, it's not gonna happen. It's it's the character doesn't have the power. Yeah. You know, yeah. it's a good character. Don't get me wrong. Work. I'm it's not knocking role. any of these games because I don't want people to get the wrong idea because sometimes people think just because you prefer something else means you must hate it no i don't like ratchet's great sly cooper's great but for me i could think of other games from those studios that i'd rather play do you know what i mean it's like london studio they're making vr stuff i'd rather they made a getaway game how about that does that does that make me a horrible person no it's just a preference yeah it's your opinion dude like if you listen people first of all i want to say two things if you get mad over someone's opinion yeah, but people do though. I you feel like you always have to double. You know, dude, the way social media is these days, you can't say something once. You have to double explain yourself because either people are too thick to understand or they're too caught up in their feelings. Like you have right. to really double down and explain what you meant the first time when you really shouldn't have to. It's just your own opinion. Like take it, love it or hate it, but don't, don't, don't try and tell somebody they shouldn't have it because you don't align with it. Absolutely. I would never go on. I would never go on Twitter and say, "How dare you have that thought process? How dare you like this product or how dare you prefer this genre of game when it doesn't align with me?" Like, what kind of asshole does that make me? But there's so many of those people out there. You know, Fox, uh, that you're on the money with that, bro. Like, it shouldn't matter what anybody else thinks. If you enjoy something, if you don't like something, that's on you, bro. It's not like you can't get mad that's why that's why you know if everybody was the same what a boring ass world what a boring ass genre we'd have if everything oh, was yeah, the same. That's, that's why look blaze you got a bunch of grown ass men out there they like the butt of their biscuits and they're moist as hell they they can't think for themselves so yeah and they put that like, gluten free butter it's not even yeah, real yeah, butter too yes yeah, i didn't even pro well. it's parquet it ain't even butter so i mean it's uh, no i mean it's like you they look at you and they're like oh well because Blaze didn't like it, that that's that's good, you know. This yeah, but, is yeah, but opinion, Craig, you know? people need to understand, right? You are you, and they are they, or they are them, right? Mm-hmm. We're not meant to like all the same things. Hey, I, but, I might not be attracted to your girl. That's not a problem, is it? You should be happy. Well, that's the that, that's the point, though. Is that um, yeah, they should be able to think for themselves. But they got they're talking about something called mind share. No such thing as mind share. It doesn't exist because that literally takes your ability away to think. Like, oh, well, and, and like I said before, mind share sounds like something that you were supposed to go destroy in the XCOM video game. Like, you need to get in that base and destroy the mind share. Or it's all over for all of well, us. People out just, here. People, well, people just need to realize, yeah, just because I have a, a, a channel and I, I'm on Twitter doesn't mean I speak for any community. I'm speaking for myself. Oh, yeah, yeah. But you, but you put that out there. How many times over the, over the years? People don't listen. Oh, you got another super chat, Big Cloud. No, oh, no, I was going for you to finish. You gonna finish your point? Oh no, 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 no. I'm, I'm good. No, it's just, like I said, it's um. They, I don't so know what mind finish. share is. People are like, and hey, my girlfriend is marketing. She don't even know what that is. She said because she said people. You know think what mind share is? Mind no. share is no. Mind share is not about everyone thinking the same. Mind share is about. How much? How many people are engaged in the product? How many? How many people are are, are actively uh, communicating mm-hmm. in a social space about a certain brand or product? That's mind share. So when so when PS Five has all the mind share, it means that it's on everybody's mind and they're they're buzzing. And you're about it. it. <laughs> okay, they're well buzzing. that does make sense. But to me, I would just say that's just word, good old word of mouth. 
So are they now hive calling word you of mean mouth hive, mind you, you mean hive mind, where everybody's a drone and they're all connected to some matrix fucking Easter egg doing the same <laughs> shit. Well, possibly, but yeah, I just because I was like, honey, what's mind share? She was like, there's no such thing. She said, because people are individuals and they think for themselves and they make up their own mind. But yeah, I, I get it. if you're about to say because they're sharing information in the same area, I was like, <laughs> okay, I guess that does make some sense now, but it's dumb. Yeah, I'll leave it at that. <laughs> are, are saying that uh, Microsoft is winning automatically because of the whole reveal. And I'm like, well, here's the thing. Mark yeah, they're the most talked about. Thing, Mindshare is the what? most effective form of advertising known yeah. to man. It's, it's, see, that's it's word, word of mouth, mouth though. No, Isn't no, mindshare. No, mindshare is word of mouth. But on the internet, okay. you don't have to keep bumping into people just to tell them. You just share. Oh, it online. they had to call it something different. Oh, okay, yeah. well, if they're gonna call call it something different, okay, all right. I I understand now. I I fall back then. If it's if it's one thing and now it's been it's now being called something different. Fine, well, that's well, fine. Well, well, it's still it's still word of mouth, but that's how. Right. In, I got in you. Real yeah, it's just a different way. To, that's where you meet people and you tell them yeah. about something face to face, human right. contact. But on the internet, it's mind share. Yeah, it's I like got people you. People sharing <laughs> their opinions on this particular thing. <laughs> I got you now. I mean, it, does, it didn't make any sense to me because you know I make up my own mind. If I want, if I want a Popeye's chicken sandwich, I'm not going to go listen to somebody called Mind Share. You know, I'm just gonna go get what I want. But I get what you're saying now. It's it's because it's in a virtual space versus a like at a mall or at an amusement park. Yeah, you know? yeah. So yeah. I got you. I, I got I, it. Now. I I understand what it is now. So now I know what mind share is. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um shout out to Vegger for the uh fifty nine SEK. I feel the same way about RNC or Ratchet and Clank. It doesn't talk or it doesn't talk for me, but I understand why people love it. Um, Kill that man. I would Kill also him. I would also like to I, I would also like to love it, but won't happen or it won't happen. It's just a great show. Shoot him, murder him for having that opinion. How Kill do you him. have that opinion, dude? Appreciate I demand his head. You're not How even a real think... Sony guy, man. Like you're not even a <laughs> How dare he have a preference? How dare he? This uh, is the he's... internet, damn it. <laughs> well, who, who posted the comment? Oh, Super Lumikayan. What's up, bro? Uh, he did say, it. yeah, I did hear about that. I didn't, uh, I forgot to write that down. I'm glad you typed it. But um, the Business Insider was claiming that the next gen consoles uh, may be delayed in terms of shipping because of the coronavirus. Oh, they're just well, looking at what happened. Good. They're just looking at companies reporting that some yeah. some of their products are delayed because like game releases because of the coronavirus that doesn't mean that i mean it's possible it could be delayed yeah it can be yeah because but at the end of the day do you give a fuck i mean i care more about no. people dropping down dead than consoles yeah that, that's what i was about to say fox you know, interrupt you yeah to me the people who could die is more important than a exactly. console that's yeah. a year roughly a I year can, i can yeah. wait to play man i don't want to be coughing all over my new playstation yeah, I won't only be able to not be able to play, but they're already talking about something called a vaccine. So, uh, but yeah, that thing has been around for years. If you look at the back, the Lysol bottles, it says kills coronavirus. It's just bro, my my girl got using. these wipes, and it says kills coronavirus right on. Yeah, it. and it will, but maybe not this version of it. Right. It, it mutates, but uh, it just uh, yeah, viruses want to stay alive, just like people. Don't get me wrong, though. There's a selfish <laughs> side of me. That mm -hmm. says, "Oh, you fuck you, coronavirus, delaying my goddamn PlayStation Five. But then yeah. the rational side of me, the human side, says, "Well, fuck the fucking console." You know what I mean? Like, if yeah, this I can wait. If I can wait. Virus... Waiting this long anyway. You know what I mean? What's an extra? Yeah. And shout out to OBJ to Don. Like you said, man, there's so much. Uh, and and uh, J Dub City, the biggest Xbox fan out there, J Dub. Uh, he, um, you know, like he said, you know, X, Sony has so much coming out over the next 100 days. Wait, you call J Dub an Xbox fan? Yeah, he's bought. How many Xboxes has he bought and just given away? That's, Bro, that's a big fan. It. That's the truth. But anyway, um, back to what I'm saying here. Um, <laughs> You can go ahead and um, there's games coming out. I mean, MLB The Show is coming out. Uh, something called Yakuza is coming out. Uh, so there's so much coming out over the next 100 days that um, that you'll be able to play on your PlayStation. If they delay the console till March 21, fine, fine. It's not going to affect me. It's going to affect these moist-ass simp fanboys who need some kind of comparison video, you know, and take it with a grain of salt guy. You know, they, I hate they that need... phrase now. Craig, you made me hate that phrase. Take it. What's that? 
Any I'll take it with a grain of salt. Any YouTube, any YouTube video I watch on any channel where they say, take it with a grain of salt, I just want to throw up. I want to throw up. <laughs> I'm like, everybody's watching their cute little tootsie. Nobody wants to. Nobody like, wants you, you see these bold ass that. titles uh place, well, no, place uh, Xbox wants. Series X significantly I mean and massively powerful than the PS5. Hey guys, take wow. it with a grain of salt. This is uh coming from this <laughs> yeah. like, what the well, fuck? Listen, listen, nobody nobody wants push square coming after them. So I, I understand them being very cautious. <laughs> well no, I'm just saying I mean if if that's who is affected by it because I keep seeing people like this one guy He's he 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 blocked his the Messiah because he's like the fact that Sony won't show us or talk about the PS5 shows their lack of confidence in it. I said, well, how dare a company that has games like The Last of Us, MLB The Show, Iron Man VR? Who said that? Who said that? I don't know. Some moist ass fruit booty on Twitter. I said that company is not going to give a hard push. To their to that product because I would be mad if I was one of their top studios. People are saying it's you know? mad. Have you and Mads got some kind of beef? No, 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 no. I'm talking about this dude online. Yeah, but every, but every time you talk about this dude online, people type Mads in the chat. Oh, well, that's them. Like I said, that's that's the mind share. I think that's what it's called. <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, but yeah, I agree with the whole thing. Take with the grain of salt. I was actually going to do my big UFO podcast, and that was just going to be nothing but taking with a grain of salt. But I did my Xbox podcast instead. But, um, how about, how about, how how about, how about, how about take it with a dose of mayonnaise? Yeah, well, mayo was bland. So, how about America with, huh? Yeah, but he's doing a real Xbox podcast though. Yeah, it, no, it's confirmation, no speculation. The, the only Xbox that means, So that means you're doing a show with no news. No, I'm doing things that are confirmed. So I'm talking about, about you're doing a show with no news because we're talking all the stuff. No, you know, know, he's, he's going to do. You know, he's going to do. He's going to call it. He's going to call it an Xbox podcast, but he's going to talk about. He's going to talk Marvel and DC throughout the whole of it. No, we talked about we talked about uh, Fantasy Star Online being available for Xbox. The uh, we talked about the airplanes that are going to be on the sim, the flight sim game, and uh, the next controllers. Huh? Oh no, no new controllers. No reason to talk about that. And this yeah, stuff that was confirmed. You got so many colors of the rainbow. What you talking about? Yeah, like, and stuff that was you confirmed got, you for got, Series like, X. Got, like, Craig, you got oh, like. Huh? Two- if you if you focus every podcast on one controller, you'll have about two hundred. Yeah, you have a lot of podcasts. Content. Yeah, yeah. that's that's true. But I only have one. I still have that Xbox controller that came out in I guess two thousand and whatever, two thousand and twelve, thirteen, whatever it came out. I that's the ones I still use because there's nothing wrong with them. Do a People retro like, cost? I I just they work fine. They're different colors, but they're the same type of thing. People are like, well, it's got a lot of dead zones in it. Like, no, you just suck as a player. No, nah, they got dead zones. Stop it. They no, do. they don't. No, I have the Elite Controller yet. Series 2 just so I can tighten my analog sticks. That's the only – I'm telling what you they that got that zones. I, not what does that look? Your stick. Craig, I'm not a <laughs> hater. The 360 is the best controller ever created. The Xbox One controller yeah. has dead zones, period, and they have loose, thotty sticks. I'm telling you right now, dude. You want the new I, Elite I Series too? I don't have that problem. You don't have that problem because no. you're so used to playing on mediocre trash, damn it. No, I'm just well, playing. I, mean, I'm just <laughs> <laughs> I play on PC. I have no dead zones. So, I mean, I don't know what they're talking about. Yeah, if they say it. they nah, exist, that's fine, you know. But, um, yeah, I just, I'm, I'm just that good at what I do when I play. I just, you know. Ain't nobody gonna touch me. Now nah, the older controllers more mm-hmm. than more than before, but the newer controllers they definitely improved the dead zones. They really did. They're still there, but they they're well, really well. Less where better. are they? Like if I had my old stick, where would my dead zone be, bro? Oh, I I don't know. I can't I can't make that. I think I think I think the have. Xbox One controller. Maybe they've probably fixed it now, but mm-hmm. the original one that came out of the Xbox One, the dead zones on that were awful. Yeah, I don't. I don't have a problem with. You had it. to really push it hard yeah. to the right or hard to the left before it would move. Really, bro? Come on, we're all multi console owners here, Craig. We're not just trying to talk shit. Yeah, yeah we're joking we're, a little but, bit, but but I don't. I don't notice it on the newer controller though. Yeah. You know the the one with the Bluetooth. Bluetooth. I think they fixed it, but the original one had the worst. It was like lag. It, really? It felt, yeah, because oh, the dead zone, like you know, yeah, like with the PlayStation, you touch it slightly and it moves. The character Ooh. moves. 
Yeah. On the original Xbox controller, the one that didn't have the mic, the microphone, headphone jack, uh-huh. the original one, like when you the move Duke, left or right, it's like you had to, you had to push it, you had to really force your thumb on the stick. Oh, now that one, I, I've got the one with the actual. Uh, you can plug in the the, the control, the, the headset. So that's a, is that a different one then? That came. That Wait, you don't got a three point five millimeter jack or not? I'm, I don't know what this is. It works. It's at the so, bottom, right? That's a 3.5 millimeter. It's, uh, it's, it's a proprietary a little piece that's a little it's a it's a little hole you stick something in it. Okay, so you got the three point, so you got a newer <laughs> model. <laughs> and it works. Pause, so, by the way. Go ahead. Yeah, I got you. But no, I I don't have a problem with this. To be honest, my Xbox <laughs> controller works better on my PC than it does on my Xbox. <laughs> really? Well, yeah, that, that, and maybe and that's the problem. It feels it feels more um intuitive. It feels more responsive. Yeah, again, and I'm and playing the, on PC now. I'm not playing on the actual. It might be because it's Xbox 60 Mac, frames. So. It might be because I'm playing at 60 frames. That's probably it. Double yeah. frames. Honestly, yo, that's, that is it. That's not probably. That's probably really is it. Shout out to the people yeah. that bring up the Vita, bro. So I said someone's yeah. playing the Vita. Shout out to the 180 the people in the chat. But I don't have that problem. But but no, it's just that I have an Xbox podcast, and anybody can be on it, but we're not going to be speculating about GPUs and T flops and all that kind of stuff. I, I don't mind talking about the stuff that they've confirmed for the new Xbox that stuff that they no just come out. They no, we just had topics the other day. Yeah, no, they they have confirmed stuff. You got, you got, you got, got a super chat. You got a super chat. Uh, there, right? super, <laughs> chat and a ne- super chat and a next and a next topic we should move on to. Yeah, that's true. I agree. Super chat, bro. A, Let me read a... it. Mono Mono Gamma Gamer. Two dollars. You think PS5 will get reveal slash date this or next? I think M- it will. T H. Yeah, I think that means month. I think it gets revealed in a couple of weeks. <laughs> take it with. Look how you said month. T H. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm saying it word for word. Don't <laughs> Verbatim. Thank you for your two dollars, bro. I'm sure Ryan appreciates it. Thank you. Um, yeah. Do, will we get it this week or next? Or no, I'm sorry, this month or next month? I would like to think well, so because it's only so long you can uh, delay. Well, they ain't ready. They're not ready. They're still yeah. getting dressed. Still got. Still That's getting the panties bitch. on. Yeah. Still is doing it too. Um, Yo, but we can move on. But can I just say this to Fox? You got that nice new monitor, and you know what I mean. Play Ratchet and Clank. Just play it. Replay it again. Just boot it up and just tell me what you think. Oh, I have. I have. I've gone through all the PlayStation games on it. Trust me. So you're trying everything now. That's what happens. (laughs) I spent spent most of December doing that and most of January doing that. Yeah. I mean, you know what? You see the thing with me. It's the thing with me, right? I've been gaming so long. I've been through so many wondrous, impressive uh, seasons of gaming, like where I've watched gaming evolve from pixels to 3D to everything. Do you know what I mean? I've been there Maybe since. Quality. I've been there since the since day dot. I've been there since the first kilobyte. Forget megabytes and gigabytes and teraflops. I've been there since kilobytes. Oh okay? shit! And like, <laughs> I don't get. I don't get a hard on like I used to for wonderful graphics anymore. I mean, I do initially for like maybe a couple of hours, but then I, then it's down to the gameplay for me. Once once I'm over all that Maybelline, you know what I mean? It's down to the gameplay. Call it, call it, and if, it, and it, it don't matter how pretty a game looks. It's still a turn. It's just got a ribbon and a bow around it. Hmm. Yeah. Do you know what I, I know. I, mean? I agree with you. But if, look, if I'm not immersed in the world, I cannot stay in that world. Do you understand? Period. It is a gameplay is always going to be first, Fox. Absolutely. But I need to be immersed in that world. And I need to. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You know, we're yeah, paying but, a lot I, of money, for, you know. You, but admit it, though. Every game you've started and finished, like the first quarter of the game or the first third of the game, you were impressed with the graphics. But after a while, like those moments come far and few in between. It's like you, I, it, it takes a set piece or a cut scene to make you go, wow. Do you know what I mean? Because you're too engrossed in the game to be looking at every minute detail. You do that at the beginning. Like, you go up to every tree to look at the texture. You go up to every rock. You go up to every puddle. You go up to every reflection. You do all that shit. 
You know what I mean? You play yeah. with the, the controller so you can see the rays of the sun, God rays coming through the trees. We all do it. But then you've got to play the game. You can't do that throughout the whole game. You only, you only do that at the start. And then you forget about the graphics and then you play the game and say, wow, that was uh, not me, bro. I fucking I'm looking at you can ask Ryan. I'm always looking at I'm like, how many st times I stop and take screenshots like we're playing like there's a horde of zombies coming. I'm like, oh, we're trying to take a screenshot. Hmm. Like I, I love that shit. Bro. I live like I think I, I appreciate when I tell you, dude, I got videos on my stuff like pointing That's out the smallest bitch. detail. That's why, man, I just I, I love this shit, bro. This is why I love I'm a, I'm a nerd real shit. I love it, too. But. It, there comes a point in the game though where you stop looking at the graphics and you just enjoy the game because it's you wow. can't be enjoying the game if you're if you're constantly studying how amazing everything looks. You, that means you're not focused on objectives and the game because you've got to get over that at some point. It's like getting a new car, isn't it? Imagine you get a new car. It's like the latest Merc or BMW, beautiful. But dude, that novelty wears off. That it looks great. It starts looking great to you and starts looking amazing to other people because you're used to it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. No, bro, I'm not, uh, bro. You're a hundred percent right. Especially the car, the car thing is absolutely true, bro. You end up getting used to it. How it we feels. only, we yeah. only love thing, we only love things visually for a short while. Uh, like this is a man's problem with women. Not all men, but a lot of men have this problem. They meet a woman, she's beautiful. Afterwards, they get used to the beauty and they go looking elsewhere. <laughs> Seriously, mm -hmm. because I'm looking at this game on because, the screen. Because yeah, you know what? Be, be, yes, because God. substance, substance is more important than what's on the surface, isn't it? You yeah, can have yeah, a yeah. you can have a beautiful anything, but if it's hollow and and brainless and lacks any kind of nuance, it's just a pretty useless thing. <laughs> it's facts. Right? That's facts. Oh, that's facts. But now um, this is the last of us running on PS5, right, Big Cloud? It's PS4. Nah, now the community say this is on the PS5. Oh, God. Well, the community is wrong. <laughs> oh, so they are wrong? Okay, no, that's fine. I, I mean, that's fine. I, yeah, I'm not going to you know, the, the console. Uh, not confirmed. It's PS4 Pro. Oh, uh, no, no, no. That's fine because I we I was told by the community that uh, it was on the I mean, uh, It was the same community that claims people don't read, but, you know, they're not reading what the damn was stated. I, don't uh, know. I, I stand corrected. <laughs> I, I got no problem standing corrected. Jay Barry was happening in the chat. Xbox 448 is What's in up, the Jay chat. Barry? Oh, Xbox 440. We're going to get to a point well, where graphics don't impress us anymore. Not uh, this yeah. generation. Yeah, they're, they're kind of not, becoming not, that. Not, though, not this gen. Generation. Not this gen. It's going to take yeah. a couple of generations, but we're going to get to a point where everything looks so real, it's not even worth saying anymore. Oh, look at that. It's not even worth it. It's like it's like walking out of your house. You don't say, oh, my God, look at those cars going by. Oh, look at that lamppost. Look at the pavement. No one does that. So when games get to that stage, no one's going to say... Oh, this looks amazing because it's going to be just like real life. Yeah, but yeah. I'm telling you, dude, like everybody's different, man. This is why what I'm saying every it, games, food, music, it's all subjective, man. And I'm telling I'm just that type of a guy that I'll do it. I beat so many games 2019, like so many. Like this was the year of me. I don't know what happened to me this year. I just started pushing. Through. But I appreciate like I. it's not that I'm I'm like, oh, look but, at this. But, and what I if stop every, but, yeah, but what if every game looked like the real world outside your door? I would, yeah, you'd be afraid what to go would outside. you what would you be able to say about each individual game? How I'll be like, it holy when it, when shit, it all looks is... when it all looks the same to you. <laughs> I'll be like, yo, this is better than the real world. Damn, this shit looks good. That's what I would say. After you would yeah. at first, but then you'll get over that, and then it won't become a thing. It trust me. It's like you don't when you leave your house, bro. Trust me, you don't point everything you see out and say, look at the detail on that car paint. Look at that amazing bro, level. We're talking Look about the games, windows. bro. That's why yeah. I said your car, your car example was perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But when games become like this, is what I'm trying to tell you. Like once you get used to games looking like real life, like in two generations from now, yeah, where it looks no different from what's outside your front door. Like after playing a hundred of those games, you're not gonna say it looks amazing anymore. It's just, it just looks normal how you'd expect it to look. Right. And it, yo, but Fox, it's not so much just the, it's like when I'm telling you, like the tessellation, when you're climbing up a mountain, you see like all the, the yeah, but you, you, you won't like, see that, all when, that. Yeah, but you won't yeah, see yeah, that when saying, it looks real. Weird, when, two when it looks real, yeah, when it looks right. real, you won't see tessellation. It would just look like real fucking mud 
when you put your foot in it, it, it fucking deforms. Like it'll be like when you're walking in a muddy field in real life. <laughs> I got my own version of tessellation. Oh God. Uh Jay Barry, the super I'm chat the was uh dedicated to you, Blaze. I don't know if you saw it. It's from personal. Two dollars super chat. It says Blaze 4K always right. Fall back or get pushed back. <laughs> That's what he said. Who was that? Uh Barisano. B oh my yo, this dude, yo, shout out B Arsenal, shout out to you, bro. He, he this dude sent me a green screen for my chair. It, it slides on the back of your computer chair. Mm -hmm. So you know, like green screens, people don't use them sometimes because it's so inconvenient, it takes up space. You gotta pull it down, pull it, whatever. But this thing literally goes on the back of your chair. It's a round circle and it just clips onto the back of your chair and you just fold oh, it up. Oh, cool. It's so cool, Fox. I got to put you onto that shit. It's so cool. Shout out to you, bro. Appreciate no, but you see, I would never use it because I, I will never go on camera. I'm too ugly and too old for the camera. Bro, you're making me I, feel I, bad, bro. Aren't we the I, same age? I, I got a face for radio. You got a fit, bro. I'm sure you don't look that bad, bro. No, I don't, but I have no interest in being any type of visual celebrity so i'm not interested in cameras bro you're eventually gonna you're eventually gonna have to show you eventually you're gonna yeah if i go to events and you, you see me on camera yeah but for my own channel like i'm not interested in to me i can't here's the thing like i have to keep it i'm so real and this is odd me saying it because someone else should be saying it about me but sometimes you gotta blow your own but I'm so real that when I see YouTubers channels and they're sitting up on close and I don't want to visualize and look at a man You know what I mean talking to me with his face to the camera and I got to look at their face All up in my screen show me his teeth his yellow teeth and He's just oh, it's horrible. It's it's repulsive. Sometimes I wish I could just Hear them and not see them does that sound cruel? It, no, it doesn't, bro. At, look, I get what you're saying, but you, I think you're being too critical on the on on the small <laughs> points. Like, I get no, what you're no, saying. No, no, I'm bro. I'm funny. I've got I've got my I've got my ways. It's like <clears throat> I don't want to see men right up into the camera on my TV telling me about video games. I just want them to show me video games, and I'll hear their voice while I'm looking at these video games. I don't want to see you. I only want to hear you. So that's how I. So that's why I don't go on camera because people want to see games and stuff. They want to hear me. They don't need to see me. Look at these yes, games. I, and I agree, but at the same time, when you can see, like, when you can see somebody's visual expression, how they like, you know what I mean. Sometimes it's more effective. Sometimes, not all the time. The, it's uh, it's split fifty fifty. That's why I'm camera shy. I'm camera shy, man. Are you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, some people come across as very. Then use uh, the yo use the connect camera and and it'll be no, blurry. No, no. Some some people come off as very confident, you know. Some people say, "Oh, he sounds arrogant," and they like that like that could be born through confidence or being overconfident. But even people who feel confident, they have these things that they don't like to do. And I don't want to be in front of a camera. Like I'm not doing this for fame. I'm not interested in notoriety. I just want to share my passion with people. I don't want to take it to those levels of where I, I'm not trying to be ninja. I'm not trying to be PewDiePie. I'm not trying to be KSI. I, I have no ambition to be that. Any of those people. I love my privacy too much. Well, that's fair enough. The privacy right there is fair enough. But the problem I, I is, want to live a normal life. Bro, I don't want to have to. If you, you end up I mean? getting as big as is. No, as I won't. Me. I will never allow that. I will cull. If it gets too big, I will cull it so it gets off a manageable size. It's like it's like euthanasia. It's like getting rid of the people on Earth and just making it more perpetual, and the Earth is more balanced. You know. Look, I'll send you the connect. The connect is like 720p <laughs> blurry. It's mad blurry, bro. And then you can use that camera, and they won't be able to make you out. No, no. Honestly, I'm not. I'm, it's not about the way I look. I'm kidding about the old and ugly part. I haven't got a problem going on camera. It's not a self-esteem issue. I just don't want to be on camera. I just rather talk and fair show enough. you, hey, show you videos. Works, sir, by. Like, yeah, can do, it's, like, it's, the your, it's your bro. You yeah. have every right to feel that way, bro. For real. I like to see women on camera, not men. Yeah. That's why I tell people they want to go to the bars and clubs and have a beer. I'm like, yo, can we go to the strip club? 
oh, why, why, why? I'm like, bro, because I'd rather drink beer and look at, you know, uh, you know what I'm saying? Then then go to the club and you stepped on my shoe and why are you looking at my girl type shit? I'd rather go to the club, leave there with a, a with my self-esteem through the sky, you know, because you know they're they're all gonna approach you. Usually girls don't just approach you yeah. all the time like that. Let's be realistic. I, I've been on camera though. I I've got a video where I'm on camera where I went to an camera? event for Man of Medan. Like you can see what I look like. I'm on a boat going to the Man of Medan event, going in onto a HMS ship, and you can see me. Because I had my cameraman filming me, so it's not like I, I, I'm not, I'm opposed to it, but in general, I don't really want to be on camera. Yep. Uh, let me see here. Let's move the top. All right, so this is one of the topics that a lot of people want us to touch on. Uh, the PS5 price point supposedly is undecided. Um, this has been something that's been going around. Because uh, there was a report or there was an article that stated that Sony was, quote unquote, waiting for uh, Microsoft to showcase the price of the Xbox Series X before they actually came out and confirmed theirs. Um, I actually do not believe that to be true. But what I do see is like them just playing the waters. I think they're just taking their time because really they had The Last of Us Part Two still to launch. They got Ghost of Tsushima, which is still coming and plenty others. So, again, it's not a rush. Hmm? Yeah, there's no rush. So, dude, there's really, dude, it's, only it's, an idiot would completely dump, disavow their 109 or 10 million user base for a zero install base for a next-gen console. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, only a fool. That's somebody who ain't going to be in business long. So I don't blame Sony for wanting to milk the cash cow that is PS4. It's the most successful console they've had since 2004, man. Four, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, PS2, no, I mean, to me, it makes perfect I mean. sense. You're, you're not going to, you know, cut off your nose and spite your face. I understand there are people in other communities who are desperate because they don't have anything to talk about except Series X. So it's like, well, when is Sony going to put theirs out too? They don't have to because they still have like this game that's shown on the screen now. This game is still coming. So why yeah. would you start talking about PS5 when you have something that looks this gorgeous coming out from a first party studio? They still have a marketing deal with uh, Resident Evil 3. They still have the Iron Man mm -hmm. VR game. They still have yeah. MLB The Show. So much the content. Last of Us Part 2. Yeah, oh, Yakuza. All that's still coming. I, I, I get it. Sony's got content. so much momentum that yeah. they could they could put out a blank disc and people are gonna buy. Like they, it's it's come to the mm. point where Sony's brand is is is. I've seriously I've looked I've like I've seen all the consoles release, all the PlayStation consoles come out. I've been there for all of them, and I'm telling you right now, Sony's brand, like as of like a fan base, has never been stronger than at this point. I'm telling you right now, it's never been this strong. Like the amount of passion and people got for Sony, like for PlayStation. People are foaming out the mouth with this PS5, bro. They want to see what it looks like. They want to see what the, they just want to know anything. And Sony's yeah. doing a good job of just stringing us along, and they don't need to put out nothing. Yeah, dudes they, want you know Sony I mean? to rush <laughs> into it because you know the whole Microsoft. Yeah, well, thing, well, well think about it. Microsoft, it. Microsoft's in third place, so they got nothing to lose. So they can do anything they want early. Yeah, it's like what they did with the original Xbox. Like they killed it after four years early to bitch. get the 360 out before PS3 because mm -hmm. they were behind. They've got nothing to lose. When you're behind, you can take risks. But when you've got such a user base relying on you, you know, like I don't feel not, I don't, I don't have no empathy for these people who just picked up a PS4. That's not my problem. I've been, I did it like five years ago. Do you know what yeah. I mean? Mm -hmm. so, so I don't have empathy for you. So if you feel like you're getting robbed because the next gen's coming, well, you should have jumped on the train. But you certainly still got to look after those people for yeah. a couple more years. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, again, you they just came off of CES. Jim Ryan with the bad hair came out and told you it was going to have 3D sound. They announced PS5, so it's going to have 3D sound, hardware-based ray tracing, um, you know, 4K Blu-ray capable. Support the VR system that's out now. That's it. That's all the information you need. He also, God forbid, he mentioned The Last of Us, Ghost of Tsushima, Final Fantasy. He did that on purpose. You know, it's because they're still marketing that game. I mean, people got to remember that. They just uh, pushed the marketing back a little bit, a little bit more. 
for uh for the Final Fantasy game. So congratulations to them on that. They're keeping that for a full year, sounds like. So it's just I, I get there's a group of people who are desperate for uh information because they got nothing else to talk about. Like Big Cloud was saying, they're they got no information. They're up there guessing them it's about something called CUs and floating floating points on T flops because they got nothing else to talk about. I thought it was like the amount of uh tech experts that have come out in the wake of Sony not uh <laughs> revealing information really is that amazing to me. It's just like, you know, these are the same people who claim they knew X amount of things for the Xbox One X. And God forbid yeah. we knew how that turned out. So Yeah, they're again, still waiting for X Xbox is going to X still give waiting it to them. I'm still waiting for X going to give it to you and all this uh, ridiculous yeah. And shit. it did but though, again. Big Cloud. Let's be let's be fair, men here. Let's be fair to the Xbox. They well, gave you know us Red Dead, hold on, they gave us Red Dead Redemption with lowered and low graphics settings. So Xbox did something never before capable, lowered yeah. and low. Because no, fat know, people don't fail cooking. How is that possible? <laughs> Let me just say this. Let me say this on a serious tip. I feel like Microsoft's doing this two-year cross-generation thing mm. with the Xbox Series X because I feel like that console's going to be expensive, and they know it. So they're doing this to give people time to save that them, them dollars because I feel like it's going to be a $600 console. Yeah, I feel like it is. Yeah. I feel like they're throwing the sink at this one, and they don't care if it doesn't sell like uh, PS5 because they 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 just want to be known as having the most powerful and then run everything off services anyway. So yeah. they get the both narratives. You know, they've got Game Pass, uh, aren't we great? Value for money, and they've got the most powerful console at any cost. Do you understand? Because that two years is going to give people time to get the money together because they know not everybody's going to have $600 to just lay down on a console. Yeah. You see, um, again, there's just so much shit I really want to say on this because it's like we've been waiting. Again, I don't understand how anybody thinks Sony has like anything to prove at this point. They don't have anything they got to prove. They've already shown that this shit. So the fact that dudes think Sony's going to just bow down type of thing and just, like, throw all this shit out there immediately, just, no, they don't have to. They have everything. I just don't, I don't understand it. Well, look, if it's going to be more powerful than PS5, okay? And that yeah, doesn't bother me what whatsoever. At, yeah. It doesn't bother me whatsoever in the same way that Xbox One X is more powerful than Pro. Mm -hmm. But where did I play most of my games? On Pro. On Pro. Because of the quality of those first party exclusives. But here's the thing. Let's let's just let's just create our own reality for a moment. Let's pretend these consoles have launched. Let's mm -hmm. pretend Xbox Series X, Xbox SX, Xbox Sex. Let's pretend that it is indeed two or three T flops more powerful than the PS5. Okay? Let's pretend. If Sony launches theirs at like say a 10 T flop console and they launch theirs at like 400, maybe 450 mm -hmm. Microsoft's good. Microsoft's having extra power an extra two T flops of power. is definitely going to be a $600 console, five, nine, nine. Not only that too. Um, you know, it's great. They're very blunt on this. Uh, what was it? The Lockhart. Yeah. I remember Lockhart was supposed to be a thing too. They're very blunt on Lockhart. I haven't heard a thing about Lockhart. It was strictly Series X. So, again, hard to really know what their strategy is. But them going all out on the system, again, it doesn't really shock me at all because they still have Game Pass. That's, like, their whole thing. It's, I think Lockhart will be about seven, seven, nearly eight T-flops if, it, if it's a real thing. Yeah. If it actually comes out. I don't, I, I don't think it would be four T-flops. That's bullshit. Like, that's, how can you make it less powerful than the Xbox Series X? Um, sorry, the Xbox One X. I reckon it'll be about 7.5, 7.6 T-flops. Like the 5700, you know, the RX 5700. That's like 7.3, 7 7.4 well, T-flops. Um, yeah, I, I was about to say, um, the Navi uh, Teraflop is more efficient, though, than the GCN equivalents. Yeah, but I mean, I'm talking with that that in mind. I already, I already equated that into my comment. I know that. Yeah. So even, even still, like seven T flops is seven T flops. It don't matter 
how more efficient it is. It is what's written on the tin. If it says seven T flops, that's what it is. That yeah. is true, but people need to understand though. Also, saying, Nvidia, yes. Nvidia T flops and AMD T flops are totally different, bro. This, they are. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. but these consoles are gonna have AMD though, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. The Nvidia is on Nintendo Switch. Yeah. Um, I just you know what? It won't matter, man. People were caught up on the T flops. It won't matter. Like, did it matter for Xbox One X and PS4 Pro? No. Did anything on the Xbox One X, uh, Xbox One X look like God of War? No. no. Did it anything play like Spider Man? No. Yeah. Not even software. not even Days Gone. Not even Days Gone. In fact, the best games on Xbox One X came from third parties, not from Microsoft. If you're talking about graphics, what's that? What's a third party? Third party games, you know, multiplex. Yeah, no, I know. Give me one of them. Give me an example, like Rise. You're talking about? Or? No, not Rise. Just, just third party games that look amazing. They look better than Microsoft's games, in my opinion. Oh, you're saying in general, like multiplats look better than the exclusive? No, really good looking multiplats yeah. look better than Microsoft's first party games, in my opinion. Eh, some of them, yeah. I think most of them. Yeah, if you compare, look, I give you a, give you an example. What do you what do you think looks better graphically, right? In terms of effects and everything that's going on, Red Dead Redemption Two or Gears Five? I mean, bro, that's an anomaly, but yeah, I see your point. Yeah. It doesn't matter if one's open world or not. They're both streaming. Regardless, Gears is still streaming textures, just like Red Dead Redemption 2 is. It's the only difference is it's open world. But if you look at the effects and the love and passion that's gone into the game, mm. like, I don't see that. Gears looks like Gears. You got to understand, though, Red Dead had probably three times the budget as a gears of war bro but that, that, that's no excuse we're talking about the richest company one of the richest companies in the world microsoft like this yeah. money's no issue and they got no, like, i understand, <laughs> I understand not the issue, but if they don't put the money towards the game regardless well, how that, much money that's they what got. You, well you get you get cracked down then don't you <laughs> <laughs> don't get me wrong Wait, gears five you? does look good but how much better does it look when you look at gears four how much better does it they all look the same to me, man. Look Gears sharper. Five looks. Yeah. Gears Five, Gears, like I almost shit my pants five playing Gears Five. Yeah, Gears, Gears Five looks no incredible. Had a brighter color palette. Gears listen, Four, I, I, I had better playability. I, I, listen, I played Gears Five on a, my PC in 4K at 60 frames per second. Okay, I've had a, a, on ultra settings. Brian w w was there because I, I yeah. shared my screen with him. Right. Let me tell you something. I've got a PC that can deliver be better looking games than the host platform Xbox. Okay, and to me, God of War still look better than even how Gears Five looks on my PC at 4K running at 60. You guys Fish know the X. God of War look better. You know the, the Xbox version was at 60 too. Who? The Xbox version of Gears Five is at 60. Yeah, okay. but their but but I've their never but played, their resolution I've never, their resolution I've, kept driven. I've never played. I've never played the Xbox version. I did. Um, I played. I played it a little bit. Look, the, it had a dynamic resolution. Sometimes that resolution dropped down. I played. I played Forza Horizon. I played Forza Horizon Four with full HDR, 4K on my PC. And to me, don't get me wrong, it looks amazing. But then you look at Sony's games. It's not. This, it's not even on the same level, man. Digital Foundry did a Gran Turismo Sport versus a Forza. Um, motorsport, yeah, and they found details that would blow your mind. You can't even see them unless you zoom in, but they're there. So, even the developer bothered to do that, knowing that humans would probably not notice it. Mm. And when you look at the when you look at Forza on the same comparison, that detail is completely missing, yeah, even on the tracks, the, the GT, even the, the same track. Yeah, the trees, the tracks, the fan base. It was better on Grand Turismo. I'm talking about the same track. Because the I trees think are cardboard. The trees yeah. are cardboard on Xbox. Yeah. Yeah. And then I mean, I'm time. not going to knock it. It does look good. I mean, I, look, I love gears. Any anytime you give me a gun with a with a chainsaw, I'm going to have a good time. But um, a lot of yeah. a lot of things come into factor though. Like they uh, Grand Turismo. I mean, literally, they took one generation and released one game. 
Forza yeah. came out multiple times. Not only that, they have yeah. way more tracks, way more cars. When you gotta add in way more cars, <laughs> if Gran Turismo has thirty cars and Forza has seventy, of course, yeah. the, of course, the ones with thirty cars are gonna look better and have more detail. There's only thirty. Cars. Well, no, I mean, yeah, no, you're right. But they can find they again. They they looked at bro. The they're cars no, no, the Blaze, Blaze, yeah, be honest, Blaze, they're wizards, Blaze, bro. Blaze, have you played Death Stranding? I've played them all, bro. Right, regardless of whether you enjoyed it or not, strictly on an aesthetic, visual point of view, is there anything on any other console or PC that can stand up to that game visually? Um, Maybe Star Citizen. No, no that's, not, that's not a product yet. I'm talking about games you can buy and own. That's still in Oh, no, no, no. It, look, it, look, White Zack said that the Death Stranding is the pinnacle of graphics and the way games are should look. They said that. They said that Horizon Zero Dawn was the pinnacle of HDR. I mean, again, this is stuff that these cats have said, and this is the problem. This is what I told the community. When you all use another man's standard, when it blows up in your face, it's going to really blow up in your face. And again, Sony's games, based on White Zaddy, look better. So I don't, I mean, again, it's, yeah, it's but, kind but of my point is, my, but my point is, none of it's because of power. I agree. No, you're right. It's, it's talent. None of it you're is because right I've got there, the yeah. most powerful T flops. So what, it won't matter no, when it, the it, Xbox it, Series yeah. X goes up against what Sony puts out there. Unless Microsoft are prepared to match Sony on quality and talent of studios, and they can't, even Microsoft know that. Microsoft, look at all Microsoft studios. I can I, listen. Turn ten, playground. They right. just make the same games, okay? Um, you've got Ninja Theory now, but unproven. They're proven to me because of other platforms, but they're not proven for Microsoft yet because they haven't released the game yet, okay? But we know they're a pedigree studio though. But here's the thing: just compare Microsoft's 15, 14, 15 studios to Sony's fourteen, fifteen, and show me. How Microsoft can compete. Bro, you guys got it wrong. There's no comparison when we're talking about studios. You 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 got are uh, you guys you guys know who the fuck you're talking to? Sony's God. You understand that? This you're is like me, Robert bro. De Niro up in here, like, this fucking, is like taxi. I, I'm place. just telling you, bro. I'm I gotta be fair, dude. You guys are fucking like a lot of people. Oh, I played on my PC in the chat. Like, okay, l l like put your specs out there. Let me see what PC you're playing on. Like you know what I mean? Like that's always yeah. the thing. I played on PC and my PS4 Pro looks better. And then, then, bro, obviously, like you guys are like lying to yourself. I'm, I'm trying yeah, to. Yeah, no, that's you. not true. Like, that is not true. They are lying. <laughs> like, I, like, stop it. Like, you, everybody got a, a, a fucking incredible PC now. Stop it. Like, I'm saying, look, the PS4 exclusives, like God of War, like I told Ryan the other week, they mm. made God of War on a 1.8 teraflops. They made that shit on a on a weak ass PS4 Slim. Very that game limited. is running and it yep. looks better than anything out there. Period. It does. God of War looks better than anything out there for uh, for what the I'm trying what to the say. Okay, and, and that's what I'm trying to say <laughs> though. Like, look, better than Crackdown Three. This 4K native at 60 frames a second with high HDR. No, we're, we're not talking about performance. We're talking about visuals alone. Oh, and then visually. Which yeah, game no, is smooth, We're talking about just graphics, oh, looking at the quality of the I, artistry I, and the bitch. design that's gone no, into the game. No, I, look, I get what you're saying. I mean, the, the <laughs> graphic, the, the T-flops or whatever you want to call it will not matter because uh, it doesn't matter now. It matters to some, but uh, overall, let's be realistic. Nobody here is bashing the Xbox. It's just, look, it's not... I agree with you, Blaze. It's not even close. It is... Uh, you know, it's a Popeye's chicken sandwich to a McDonald's McChicken at this point. Everybody knows. It. So yeah. um, it's not that you. It's not that your McChicken ain't won't get you full, but it ain't a Popeye sandwich. You know? yeah. so, like so Sony, yeah. Sony, Sony's look. Sony's devs and their studio teams are incredible. Like they're like they're the industry leading standard. Like other than Rockstar, like there's nobody. When you think of like the big big shots, you think of the Naughty Dogs. I'm just telling you, bro. I'm a Sony guy at core. I own set. I dude. I own seven Vitas, four PS4 Pros. I'm not gonna go into all that, but I'm a Sony fan more than anything. But you guys gotta be. You guys sometimes wear these glasses, and you guys like you guys gotta be open your mind, bro. Stop like looking down one lane. Like I love PlayStation more than anybody, and Ryan will tell you that, bro. 
Yep. Okay, I but I, you got to be fair sometimes, bro. I'm not saying GT. GT is a better simulation racer. That's a that's hundred percent true. It's a better simulation racer. But you guys are comparing Horizon to GT Sport. That's two different genres, bro. GT Sport is different from Horizon. If you want to no, say no, yeah, no, no, GT. No. Okay. If you want to yep. say GT Sport looks better than regular Forza Motorsports, okay. Well, that's now what we the, that was a comparison. But Horizon was the comparison, okay? The comparison was motorsports, the same car on the same track. They said it was a it was they didn't say it was a night and day difference. They just said it looked better. The same track, the same car. Yeah, I seen the video. Better. Yeah, it and so that's it. To to me, that's to that's the uh for me personally, that's the end of it. It's not that I don't you're right. It's not that Forza Motorsports is a bad game. It's and let me ask you play. something. Yeah. You know, let me ask you something. Like, oh, like I love this uh, shit, right? Yo, yo, let me ask you something. I could have swore earlier in this podcast, Blaze said to Foxy that people must respect opinions. But when Impatient Fire just now said an opinion to him, you said he's lying. So which one is it? Impatient? Who are you talking to, bro? Because you said you said you see people in the chat say you play it on your PC and on the Pro looks but better. Spar Spar and did I say me? Did I did I, I you, basically I know, say I, I know who you talk about? That runaround shit don't work with me. I'm watching the chat. You're like, watching the chat. So there was multiple people that said they have PC. Who said that? Who said exactly what you said? You said word what he said. I played on my PC and the Pro looks better. Stop it! You're lying. Put your specs out there. That's exactly what you said. Yeah, I did say that. And were you coming and in? Well, first, first of all, were you coming right, in here okay. like a uh, Spartan? Spartan. I'm going uh, to do Spartan. what we're I want. Of, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. We got you, bro. Yeah, like because niggas is hypocrites. I'm just watching. I'm just listening. Y'all, y'all chop that up off here. And <laughs> then he just said something different. No, I just came to ask him that. Um, nothing much. Oh, bro, know. he said. He said. He said. Uh, yeah, he, he, let me hear it. He said he was talking uh, about uh, Gran Turismo. Because no, you no, said you see people. You said you saw people in the chat that said, "Oh, no, it's that." All right. Do your thing, Blaze. Yeah, yeah. Do your thing, bro. You're triggered over like what people. No, are you're saying. triggered because who's, you the, who's the hypocrite? Bro. If you're being you. triggered about what somebody said, what are you talking no, about? No, that don't work. Yeah, bro. yeah that, that don't work with you. Uh, that don't work, bro. Bro. I'm right, real bro. with that fake shit. Cause get out. Yeah, 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 yeah. You a real, you a real cat, bro. For real. You oh, yeah. real. I got kicked out. What's going on? Bro, you gotta stop that, bro. People really sit there and lie to y'all on air, and they talk about you triggered because we caught them. Bro, so what's your point? Which what you want? What, I just want to. I just. I would just. I would just ask him. Like, so is it? Because you're a Sony fan, and some a Sony fan just said a game on Pro looks better than on PC. And I just see you said, "Stop it, bro! You're lying." But now you say God of War. Who bro, in the chat no, no, said no, about no, God of War? Why did I say that? You said he, in the did not, chat. he did not say that. He said that, in the I chat. I said that because I I've no, seen a said game in on the, the chat. Blaze well, said hold in the on, chat. Martin. Hold on. I specifically just said, said on my podcast. I've seen Mass Effect Andromeda on the Pro at eighteen hundred p checkerboard to four k. It does not look as good. What's going on? Yeah, it it did not look as good as a. That's absolutely right. It did not look as good as a ten eighty p high graphic game. The same game. On on a PC, so yeah, that that person, that I mean, look, I'm sorry. No, that, he's absolutely right. Trust me, it does not look better than that. Yeah, yeah I mean, that's all I said. That's not yeah, that's not true. Because I watched it and I was like, wait a minute, because it's not the first time. Because he said, Foxy, you know, respect opinions, and then I just yeah. see him say that, and he said people are lying. So I'm like, oh, so people are lying now when they feel like, when you disagree with it, they're lying. But when you agree, oh, people respect your opinion. I'm just watching because I heard the word hypocrisy. I heard the word irony in the chat. So I just wanted to know, Blaze, since you're a Sony fan, why you have an oh issue with somebody God. saying a Sony game looks better than a game on PC. And you made excuses. It's open world. But remember, the X has so much power, right? So it should be able to handle all of that. It's a beast, remember? And the pro is only a half step, so... I hear a lot of excuses from you, like on this podcast. So are, you know. mad, are you mad that I was saying an Xbox? Oh, no, I'm not better, mad. Bro. I'm oh not my mad. god, bro! Are you You're really that mad? Oh no, About I'm a fucking just Xbox curious. game looking I'm, better, bro. Are you I'm, really jumping into a podcast I'm, I'm mid curious. mid -term to ask a question? You're curious. You're curious. Yeah. Go put it in the fucking street if you're curious. Go die. Go jump off a cliff. Oh, okay. okay. Right, okay. Fuck right, are you okay. talking to me right, like? Okay. Uh, People got to accept thinking they somebody. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we got you, dog. We got you, bro. Yeah, we got you. Seriously.
dip out for what? I would just ask him a question. He got okay, offended. Okay, okay, oh, okay. I'm now, not now getting going, offended, okay. bro. Yes, I can just talk about my players. You're you getting, yo, who's really offended? Who's really offended, though? I asked you a regular question. Oh, my. Okay. Jesus Christ. Fuck's sake. Yo, this dude saying I'm I'm offended. If you're if you're you're so triggered, you jumped in the podcast. Like, I, like, oh, what the fuck? Who's <laughs> really offended? I don't understand. Still what for you five seconds. I can care less. Yeah, what the fuck is this shit about? Come on. It's not that serious to me, bro. Like it's really not, bro. It's clearly <laughs> that serious to him. Period. Jeez, yeah, like gosh. I said, I'm I'm the one who said. Look, I've seen games on PC, and I've seen them on PlayStation Four Pro. And I'm just telling you now, one of my my favorite game of all time, Mass Effect, even though Andromeda is trash, when I saw it on the PC running at ultra or high graphics settings, I'm like, well, this makes my PlayStation Pro version look stupid. I've said that a gazillion times. I'll say it again. So uh yeah, that's that's not true. Yeah. You know, but if that's if that's what they think, fine. But I'm just saying I, I've seen it with my own eyes. That's why when when the PC people come out and they say, well, uh you're not really truly gaming unless you're playing, gaming at 4K or something like that. I'm like, look, I've, I've seen it. You know, it, it, yeah. uh, gaming at 1080p with ultra graphics or high graphics is better than 1800p at mid to low settings. It just, it just is. Yeah. And I don't didn't think it was that big a deal. But I agree with you, uh, Blaze, with the, uh, with uh, me, the GT bro, Sport thing. You know, I agree with that. Yeah. I mean, um, I think they both look great, but. Um, Unfortunately, there was a standard that people were using. Maybe not you, not you personally, but uh, that standard bearer came out and said that uh, the anointed standard bearer came out and said, "Yeah, it's not, it's not even close." But uh, bro, I got what you're saying, bro. Been, I got yo. Uh, first of all, Ryan, bro, I, like that that shit's embarrassing. Like, oh, yo, Sparring, if you if you look, I'm I'm dead serious. If you had a problem with what I said, bro, just chop it up in the chat. Like you got to jump in and call. Like, it's not that serious, bro. Whatever I said, like, you really taking something so tiny. Like, I said, don't be hypocrites. And then I told a dude in the chat, which I didn't use any names. It's funny how you, like, just picking somebody else. It's not that serious, bro. I had a problem. I just asked you a regular question. You got a Okay, but Spark. Like, how you respond by Tone is everything. Yo, yo, but Spark. Ryan, we're not arguing. We're discussing. No, Ryan, Ryan, leave him alone for one second. Leave him alone for Look, Spartan God, look. I look. I swear to God, dog. Though I came, I came off on you like that because I was shocked that you jumped in there. Like, yo, I got a question for you, Blaze. Like, with that, with that, you from New York or something? Yep. Okay, with that New York fucking Bronx, like you know what I mean? Like, I already know where you're coming Brooklyn, at. Me. I, I, Brooklyn, okay, Brooklyn, bro. Okay, so I already know where you're coming at me like that. You're you're trying to like, all right, like, what's good with this dude? Like, I, right, bro, come on. No, bro. see, that's why you don't assume. Okay. I was legit asking you a regular question. Okay, bro, I don't like I didn't like your voice then. How you came off? If you don't like how I came off, I don't like how you came off. But yo, for real, it's not that serious to me. It's really not. It's really not. If it whatever, yo, because you say, what are you saying? I'm not a Sony guy. Like, you, you, what do you, what are you saying? I, I never said that. I just want to know why couldn't you have respected his opinion? It's not that I didn't. Did I call? Look, see, this is where you you're jump into the conclusion. I didn't because call. Because no, I didn't. As soon as he interrupted person. when he that comment was said. Bro, but I didn't single him out. I said a lot of people in the chat and in this community claim they played games on PC, claim they have all these big specs, because it's true. A lot of people do it. Am I That's lying? Correct. Everybody. Nope. nope. Absolutely okay. not lying. Okay. Okay. So how about this, Spartan? How about this? You win, I lose. How's that? You no, happy now? We no, no, no win and a lose. I just okay. wanted to know. Like, I didn't okay. mean it like that. All right. Well, yeah, my bad, Ryan, but I just wanted to ask. Where Foxy at? I his some Discord is acting weird because I'm getting, uh, um, you know, where it, my computer is telling me. Foxy, I'm, 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 then I'm pick, I'm picking right back up. Again. I had to like fix I my drop, then I come right audio back up. level. Hold on a second. Yeah, you hear me now? Uh, yeah, Foxy, can yeah. now, can okay, now. Okay, yeah, okay. yeah, but no, I mean, because I I do a I stream just... test. Um, with this, uh, oh, with my AMD software, there's so much. <laughs> oh, you ain't, you ain't lying, uh, G. You ain't lying. That is a good thing he's not sorry. here tonight. <laughs> that was a right. Yeah, shout out to yeah. shout out to Gio. Anyway, can you get a yeah? Can you get a message to Gio? Because I had a thing about the Predator. Yeah, I, I mean, I answered like a bunch of Predator. Questions I know, and I forgot you. Well, I was feeling under the weather, so I didn't catch you. Yeah, he, um, until like last night. what kind of question there, was it? Because I'm pretty well, sure I it was think asked. he, he kind of answered it. He did say, I was just going to ask him the, uh, 
the predator uh the weapons uh because you know oh, the predator, okay. he, he had that weapon that it can record but then it could he could push it to a certain spot on the field to because the predator wouldn't attack you like a group it would always attack at least the one that he was talking about the original one it was separating them and killing them one-on-one so i didn't know if that was going to be part of the strategy it was going to be more strategic when you use the predator and um, stuff like that. I mean, that's that's what I wanted to ask him. But he did say, I, mean, I guarantee it, you, ahead, probably wouldn't have said anything involving weaponry because he was very, very strict on what he could say about it. But he was yeah. given, like, he was given the impression that there possibly could be DLC for it. For example, yeah. AVP maps, um, okay, maps from like the city of uh, what was it, LA from uh, yeah. Predator Two. No, come on. We, can we can we pretend that that never? Yeah, happened? well, he's talking about like like <laughs> DLC maps could be added to the game. Uh, he also asked. He added to the fact that the what did he say? Um, I'm trying to say there, he said it, it's a lot better than obviously Friday the Thirteenth, meaning that it's a lot more polished for yeah. one, and also yeah, a lot bit more yeah. faster and more precise. So again, he was he was giving some good details, but he wasn't. I guarantee he probably wouldn't have been able to drop that much a snippet. And keep in mind, um, he's still getting familiar with the team too. That's what he said live yesterday. Okay. Did he say when it would be out? Or, uh, um, soon it will be on PS5 or PS4. No, no, sorry. No. What happened? What happened? Oh no! It was between Blaze, discussion between Blaze and uh, my internet. My internet went all screwy, man. Oh really? Oh, oh you ain't well, it. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, like I said, it, it's I'm having dips. I know we're having some. It's it's it's, it's fucking Discord. Weather. I don't know what's going on with Discord. Yeah, too. I don't know. But I, I'm having Discord. piss poor weather in my area with snow and it yeah. it rain and it gets it's getting colder. So I don't yeah. know if the cables ain't working. Right? But yeah, I'm having issues buffering and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, that's fine. Let me uh get these super chats out the way. I had a bunch. Maybe uh, it's a good thing I missed it. Yeah, you did. <laughs> This is why I don't play. Uh, this is why I don't take Phil Spencer seriously. Main competition that respect one another, make plans around the behavior of true competitor. That's from Ravenflow. That was five dollars. Thank you, uh, Vedger or Vedger or I think it's Vedger. Um, Fifty nine SCK. Does this mean that uh, Microsoft don't wait on Sony just because they haven't been asked the same questions? Or is it just that nobody cares what Microsoft is doing? I'm pretty sure he's referring to Sony not releasing anything for PS5. Here we go. What the fuck? Hmm? Well, yeah, he got out of here. Well, I mean, again, I I don't know what. Yeah, (laughs) Yeah, I know him for Vegger. Just another 25 SEK. He says Gears 4 to Gears 5 is a running. Is as running um, Uncharted 2 in Uncharted 4 in Engine. That's what he said. And you have Kyle P, $20 super chat. Appreciate it. He says, Fox, for you to say God of War looks better than Gears 5 at 4K60, wouldn't you say that just be an artistic point of view? Because I got a PC and Gears 5 looks better and feels better than God of War on PS4 Pro. Matter of opinion, not fact. That's what he had to say. And uh, the yeah, last that, one, that is, I agree with that. I and agree the last that. one I had was from Mono Gamers, uh, Mono Gamers Gamer, two hours super chat. He said Blaze didn't mean it like that. He did a slang. There you go. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, yeah. no, I, it, it is subjective. What you have to understand is, uh, if, if you play, I mean, again, that's the last I'm gonna say about this. If you play God of War on the Xbox One X, you have a dynamic resolution. So yes, I'm not here. The, the frame rate is fine, but uh, your resolution isn't consistent. So it's just not going to look as good as it would, say, if it's at 1440p with high graphic settings on a Yeah. On a Hold PC. on. You guys but, said uh, the panel's voices are choppy. Is everybody's voices? Everybody's mic tech? Uh, yes, check, check, check. He keeps dropping out, bro. He's having problems. No, he said the panel's yeah. voices are choppy. I'm saying uh, Fox dropping out, though. Oh, oh yeah. see, I don't know what's going on. So we bro. couldn't even tweet. Um, yeah, podcast. we couldn't even tweet the podcast out early. I don't know what's going. On. Yeah, oh, I just think yeah, there's just some maybe some. Everybody crazy disconnect things. and just reconnect to the to the chat right. thing. All right, so maybe that fixed and helped it. Right. I don't know. That's weird. That's a first. Um, yeah. but. That's, I guess, YouTube slash the internet for you. Yeah. Okay, the sound is okay. Okay. 
So, might have been Fox. I don't know what's going on. Yeah. Weird. Damn well, Discord, like guys. Damn Discord. He said his internet <laughs> took him out. So yeah. I don't know. Yeah. The internet know. is broken. Yeah, it's, 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 so. it's fallible. It's fallible. So, yeah. But both those games look great. It's unfortunate that Gears 5, uh, that the, I guess, the head of the of that project mm-hmm. uh, woke up and gave him the middle finger and said, I'm out of here. So, um, and I'm saying it's unfortunate. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not joking. I hate the fact that that guy's leaving. I know he got a, he got a good opportunity, but um, yeah. yeah, it's, it's unfortunate. It's unfortunate that, um, it, cause he's been there for like, like what, 13 years or something like that. Oh, uh, you talking about Jill? Uh, well, no, I'm talking about that Rod dude that woke up and gave him the middle finger. Oh to, yeah. yeah like uh, for years. Yeah, so, like so yeah. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, yeah, but no. I mean, I'm excited. I mean, I'm ready at the Predator game uh, ordered. I just didn't know if um, um, what to expect, like you know, physically how he would move around. Mm. That's the stuff I would have asked him. But yeah, you're right. He he probably couldn't say a heck of a whole lot about it. But uh, great. I mean, it was a, it was a good Q and A, and I'm yeah. glad he was able to come on. Yeah. Yo, but he was mad slick about how he answered questions. He was smart. Yeah, he, he, he came prepared. He was he mad prepared for everything. Prepared. Like, a lot of people yeah. don't notice that when I was talking to Gio. Like, Gio, like, the first thing he asked me, um, he asked me, it was like, you know, what was going to happen? Like, he asked me, like, what were some of the basic questions? And I guess he just got his defenses ready because I had to talk to his agent uh, to get some stuff to oh. but Yeah. He had to go talk to, he had to confirm stuff with his agent and stuff like that. But uh, that was actually really, really cool. So, uh, <laughs> a lot of questions he had uh, ready. He had ready answers for it. It was but fun yeah, though. Was it was fun. Yeah. Um, bro, that's a great that's a great look for your for your whole shit, bro. For real. Yeah, it was it was cool. It was, cool. it was cool. It was cool. I was surprised though. Um a lot of people were surprised by one question that he answered when uh they asked him what was his uh favorite game for this generation or most anticipated game for this generation. And uh a lot of people were surprised that he didn't name a Sony exclusive at all. He actually stated mm-hmm. that one of his most anticipated games, if not his his uh, most anticipated game is Doom. Uh, Eternal, and a lot of people yeah, were blown away by that. Fan, yeah. yeah, he's a big fan of Doom, and um, Bro, Doom yeah. looks crazy. Yeah, yeah so I, yeah. there was that. So again, it doesn't. Uh, it didn't shock me. It didn't shock mm-hmm. me at all. Again, it was a good show. I really, really enjoyed it. Awesome. Right. Get more right. insight on uh, what, what happens back there. That's cool, though. You really get more insight, though. You know, like um, obviously, not everybody knows what you think. You know. It's different mm-hmm. divisions, mostly strictly to board or certain individuals in the back. And um, others are responsible for their said uh, their said uh, apartments. So Correct. Yeah. That's true. So that was cool. <laughs> really, really cool. Uh, let's see. Let's get to this one right here. Uh, let's get back on topic. And a lot of people are like, what's going on? Sorry. Uh, Microsoft came out, or should I say Phil Spencer came out and stated that uh, Sony is not their competition and that their main competition is uh, Google and Amazon. A lot of people are flipping this, saying that they're not going to compete in terms of hardware sales, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I'm sorry, man. My internet's moody. Oh, it's yeah, good. Bro. It's good. It's good. What Everybody's fixing on? it up. Yeah, we had to dip out of this and jump in. It's fine. But um, we're literally back on this topic. We're on this topic here, so I'm going to re-say it real quick because I was almost done to you. Jump back in. Um, but uh, Phil Spencer came out and stated that the uh, my, uh, Sony is not their main competition and that their main competition is Google and Amazon. And a lot of people are flipping this, saying that Microsoft will not compete with Sony when it comes to hardware sales, when it comes to Xbox Series X and, of course, PS5. And a lot of people are not really looking at it or misconstruing what he's saying. The reality is, again... Sony and Microsoft are trying to stick out in two distinctive ways. Sony wants to stick stick out with their consoles and, of course, those first-party exclusives. Microsoft really wants to push the streaming aspect and push their services out there. And so their main competitor in that particular space pretty much is Amazon and Google. Now, Google Stadia has been announcing quite a bit. Like They announced their achievement system. They announced that they have their games and their um, services worked out and that they have no issues. But at the same time, Microsoft still has to, you know, deliver on that front. And also, again, Microsoft already has a already has an advantage in that because they have their games and established franchises. But again, it's going to be their main competition is uh, Amazon and Google when it comes to streaming. Sony's not yeah, really yeah, primarily yeah. focused on it. So yeah, how, yeah, yeah. Listen, how convenient. Listen, that's all they do. Convenient. Exactly. Yeah. All they do is change. Whenever they lose or they can't be the leader, they change the narrative. 
Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'll just say real quick. I'm glad this came from this is the outcome from Matt B- Booty and Phil Spencer. Um, I mean, the people can take it the way they want to. These guys, Microsoft, don't want no smoke. And um, they're going in a, I can't even say they're going in a different direction. They've been going this way for at least 36 months. You, you've been able to see this coming. I've said it, Big Cloud, you've said it. Multiple people, different people um, on different podcasts have said it. Of course, it's your, you're a hater. You, you just hate Microsoft. No, they, they just, they're a, Microsoft's DNA is, it is a content service based company. Azure Cloud is their most prosperous thing they've got. So the, they're going to push everything towards it. And um, I'm, I'm glad Phil said this because, yeah, there were a bunch of people. And shout out to a comment I saw. Uh, somebody left a comment. And it said these guys in the community are crying like CPS is on their porch taking their kids from them because mm-hmm. they got no more console war to talk about. It's over. And, uh, you know, it's, it's done. Uh, you know what Microsoft, are, their game, so. Microsoft is the equivalent of a dog that's rolled onto its back, letting you rub its tummy. Complete surrender. Yeah. Yeah, he knows he's, like, in front of – you know what's funny about – first of all, Stadia is going to end up being dropped completely. You know, when Google – don't when Google's shit don't, like, come out the gate, like, really profitable and succeeds, they usually drop their shit right away. So I'm surprised it's lasting this long. But what I'll say this, like the whole cross play when they were saying Sony's anti-consumer, like when when Xbox 360 was in the lead, PlayStation got approached about cross play and they said, yeah, let's do it. When they approached Microsoft for that same reason, they didn't want no part of it. So it's just funny how things turn and change. You know, you know what they say, don't you? If you can't beat them and you can't join them, change the narrative. And that's That's exactly what they do. That's really yeah. it. Like, and a lot of people want streaming. It's like a lot of people keep saying that they want Sony to do the Game Pass model. A lot of people really want this now. Um, and they're saying that they, they can't wait for that to be D and D type of thing for Sony. You That's know what? Thing. People can't wait for cloud to take over to kill off exclusives and consoles because no they're so but they're, they're so butt hurt. Yeah. Here's yeah. the thing. It's the question you need to ask yourself. Imagine it was Microsoft who sold 110 million Xboxes. And Sony did the 46 or 50 million, whatever, we don't know. Okay? Do you think they'd be pushing, Microsoft be pushing for this, what they're pushing for? Nah, they're only doing this because all they care about is how can we make money? They don't care about um, what gaming means to people on a passionate level. They don't care about all that bollocks that you and I care about. They only care about how can we make money from this? We can't compete with Nintendo. We haven't got the quality. We can't compete with PlayStation. We haven't got the quality. We haven't got the the brand, the mind share. So (laughs) how can we make money? They're looking at spreadsheets thinking, we need to make money from this or it's over. So they don't care what they do as long as they make money. That tells you everything you need to know. I I like companies. Look, listen, don't get me wrong. A company is there to make money. A, A corporation, they're all about profit. But in the game space, it's not like other products. The game space has a lot of fucking passion involved. A lot of people who've been there from day one, from the 80s, the 90s, the early 2K, who made gaming the force it is today, the biggest entertainment on the planet. Okay? It is. It grosses more than movies, music, anything. All right? Mm -hmm. Don't sell out all those people that made it what it is for the casuals who didn't care about it. So they can get on on the computer and play games anywhere, anytime, any for fucking ten dollars a month or whatever. That's you're just selling us short. It's like you're trying Microsoft, right? They ruin everything. It's like a fat kid at school getting bullied. You know, it was the bully, but now it's getting bullied. Now it wants to just change everything. Yeah, it just it's mm-hmm. it's, uh, it's weird for for them and the way things are going. And again, um. <laughs> I'm confused on the matter. I don't know how y'all feel on it now. Like, I don't know, like, um, where the narrative really stands now. It's like, are exclusives anti-consumer or exclusives no. consumer no, 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 or no, exclusives no. bad or are they or are they a good thing? You know, it's like everybody has some weird backstory to to a different claim for for exclusives. They'll say that they're anti-consumer, they're bad for the industry. They're not. Now they, they don't are. Help a when 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 360 was the the 360 era. Which wasn't that long ago. Yeah. So I don't want people I don't want people to carry on like, oh, things have changed. Listen, yeah. 
it still had online. It was still doing monetization. It was mm. still doing all those things on the 360. So don't give me that crap, that hoot nanny. All right. At the end of the day, nothing as much has changed. The only thing that's changed is Microsoft doesn't like being in second or now third place. So they decided, well, if we can't win, we're going to change everything. We're no longer going to count. Con we're going to make consoles seem like they're irrelevant. No matter how much you sold, who cares? Big yeah. deal. It's just the narrative. It changes like the wind. I swear, it really does. Like when it comes to exclusives, like it, I've seen, I've been a part of arguments, and I have even seen arguments go like ridiculously left. The moment you say the word exclusives, it's like it's crazy. It's like well, it does something to we, people's minds. It's like dudes just don't want to listen. They don't want to. Well, look we at it. it's we weird. we have an exclusive package when we go to the Bahamas this this uh, spring. Is Why that you, you know should, should should Red Roof Inn get get uh get upset because they don't you know they don't have the same exclusive deal you know it's like hey look you 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 up your bundle you get free lunch and that's exclusive to this hotel that's an exclusive thing to, for changing from where we were to where we went you know it's exclusives are it it just um I just think it's generational I I just that's just what I'm getting the people that are complaining are a bunch of millennials. Who think listen, everything listen, should be done for them? Microsoft so. screwed up this generation for themselves with the way they marketed the Xbox One at the very beginning. And because they screwed themselves, they now want to screw the entire fucking gaming fucking ecosystem. Think about it. If they were in charge, if they were the head fucking console, if they were the top brand, if they were fucking the market leader. You the think whole we'd narrative be would be different, bro. You know, you think I, we'd I, even I, be talking about fucking cloud gaming? It would just be some extra that they don't really promote as much as fucking exclusives. But because they can't, it's because Microsoft screwed themselves over, like a turkey voting for Christmas. They it, did that with the Xbox. They can't one. control the narrative anymore, and they know that it's no matter what they do, what, whatever they say, that they, they're. Yeah, Xbox is going to have that sense. How did Sony come from losing all that money on PS3? Selling buildings. Exclusive. Selling insurance. Doing credit cards. Mm -hmm. Anything they could. Taking fucking pay cuts. Anything they could because they were bleeding from their anus. Money. All right? How did that little broken fucking company end up taking over this big fucking corporation, this mega corporation, one of the richest Fucking top five richest companies in the world, top three even. Yeah, how the fuck did Sony do that? On passion, love, due care, and attention to what the fans want. They that's that's why they're in the. They're not here because oh the PS3 is not doing well. You know what we should do? Let's start a game streaming service so that everybody gets it cheap and we can fuck consoles over because we're not winning. No, they didn't. They knuckled down on exclusives which has built these exclusives for PS4, and now they've built them for PS5. Do you know what I mean? I just feel like, just because you can't have it all your way, don't ruin gaming for everyone else. Why are you trying to make this whole thing, betting on a 10-year fucking like, game streaming future and ignoring what is here in front of us today? If, ga if, if streaming is the future, then let it be the future, but we're here today and we're here now, and we want to enjoy these consoles as fucking native consoles with physical releases right now and well you know, yo pc exclusives first of all move the industry like why is it like nintendo is pumping out exclusives you know so every even look playstation bitch. nintendo they're all driving the exclusive narrative because they know exclusives move hardware exclusives matter people will buy flock to certain companies for exclusives that's period and then even even on pc epics you know, these PC guys, they hate the Epic Store because they're taking games and making them exclusive. But because Epic Games even understands the importance of having an exclusive game, whether they made it or not, they know that they have to go to that platform to play. I don't understand why is it? It's never been a problem for fucking 20 years. Exclusive. Nobody ever complained about you know what I mean? Now the whole narrative has changed. Oh, now it's anti-consumer. You know like, what? Microsoft, oh, they've, oh, been oh, they've been brainwashed. They've been brainwashed. They did it slowly. It's called the tip. It's called the tiptoe method. You don't do the change quickly because everyone takes notice and says, oh, what's going on here? You do it slowly. First, you say, we're going to release games on the PC. Then you leave it a year. Then you say, oh, guess what? We're going to have Game Pass. All mm. these games. Make them worth it. And then bitch. you say, 
well, you know what? Never mind Game Pass. We're going to have all these games streaming on any platform. Sony, fuck Nintendo. We respect them, but they're not in our league. Well, I mean, again, it, it's it's this is the same company that bought and held Tomb Raider off of PlayStation. Was it Rise of the Tomb Raider for a year? So they understood it then. It just it did not work. You know, it didn't work. People on it for whatever reason. People I hope it backfires. Xbox, yeah, people on the Xbox community did not. Yeah, but, go but Craig, you know why it backfired? Because when you take a game like a beloved game like Tomb Raider, the reboot, everybody loved it, enjoyed it. When you take a game that's been a multi-plat game, you already rebooted it. It's been you confirmed that hey, look, this is a multi-plat game. You can play it anywhere. And all of a sudden, Microsoft comes and like shit. We don't get enough games coming out. We don't get enough studios. Let me lock down this game. Like that's different. Like people want to complain. About certain, like yeah. when you take a beloved game like Tomb Raider and try to make it exclusive for a year, that's why you got the whole pissed off shit. Yeah, but Blaze, think about this. Imagine you're a developer, you're a studio, you poured your your blood, sweat, and tears into this project. It's an amazing project, but it ends up being dumped on a service along with some mid tier, low tier games. How does that make you feel as a creator? Yeah. Really? How does yeah, that make no, you no, feel? That would make me feel like shit. Forget money. Forget how much Microsoft pay you. As a creator, as someone who loves to create, imagine something being dumped in the bargain bin of your local game store right near the exit. So when you're leaving, oh, look, here's some games for $5. That's what it feels like. Yeah, yeah it's a slap in the face, for real. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So I don't, uh, so Big Cloud, to answer your question, it's they're the exclusives are not anti consumer. They're just, the people who are doing the complaining don't have any. And uh yeah, when those games went to PC, that that you know, that kind of started That's the slow attrition of the little Jimmy, then they that Fortnite game came out or whatever they call it. And then little Jimmy was on the bus with his three friends, and his three friends were playing on PlayStation, and he was the odd kid out and he ran home crying. So then you had Microsoft's executives start saying, well, We need crossplay, we need crossplay. And and you know, Sony finally it's, uh it's went the into crossplay. Method, man. It's, the, yeah. it's called it's called brainwash season. It's, it's the yeah. twilight zone. It's the outer limits. It's look at this. Don't look at that. Look at this. Keep looking. Oh, yeah, PC. Oh, yeah, Game Pass. Oh, yeah, xCloud. Oh, yeah, consoles are irrelevant. We screwed the industry. Thank you very much. Yeah, well, again, they are irrelevant to Microsoft because Microsoft is a software company first, and they're going to push their software. This is why I said last year, hey, Game Pass will be on the Nintendo Switch and it will eventually get the PlayStation. Now, they may not have as many games. And Microsoft will say, if you want uh, the premier Game Pass, you got to come to us. But, yeah, we're going to put some, you know, maybe 50 games for, uh, on the PlayStation and maybe 25 to 30 games on the Switch. I don't see Fortnite that going to PlayStation, bro. Oh, uh, you know, well, they ain't got you, no choice. Do you, know, do you know what's funny? The only, the, the only groups in the community, right, that want this to happen, game streaming and games on all platforms, I'm sorry to say, it's Xbox gamers, not all of them, but the ones who are butthurt over Microsoft's performance. Because if Microsoft don't win, nobody wins. But here's the thing. Those two demographics, some Xbox gamers and a bunch of PC gamers. Do you know why? I don't blame the PC gamers because they want all the PlayStation games. They want all the Xbox games. And if they can get Nintendo, they'll have them all too because they're PC and they want to play all the games. Fair enough. But the Xbox gamers shock me because they are the same ones that used to say how much better Xbox exclusives are compared to Sony's at the beginning of this generation. They were saying how Halo this and Forza Horizon 2 this and all these games, Sunset Overdrive and Sony's shitty fucking movie games and walking simulators and indie station. Do you remember all that? Do you remember the indie station? Because we got all the best exclusives over here. And mm -hmm. now Microsoft have brainwashed them into thinking, you know what? Exclusives aren't important. Console sales aren't important. We love you and you love us and you're going to worship us. We're going to make it so that Sony never wins. Nintendo never wins. Nobody wins. Hey, the narratives make... changed like the season. I remember when they said uh, Japanese games were Jap trash. I remember at the start of the season. Now oh, nobody so needs Japanese simulator. games on Xbox. See, eh? it's like yeah. Yeah. nobody. Look, Microsoft is happy that if Microsoft isn't. Listen, this is Microsoft. If we can't win, nobody wins. 
That's mm. that, that's it. That's this is what's happening. Because fuck Google, fuck what Google's doing, fuck what Amazon's doing. So what they got at Azure? So what you got all these big fucking data centers? So mm-hmm. what? That shit, that shit can all die if the gamer's appetite is for native console experiences. None of that shit matters if all we care about is owning our shit. And if don't be fooled by these Xbox gamers, because all of the people on my Twitter who are, who want who own Nintendo or PlayStation, they're happy with exclusives. They're happy that they have to buy either console to play whatever game. They're happy. They're happy. And I'm not, I'm not saying my Twitter is the biggest sample, but I've got 4,000 plus, right? And whenever I tweet out anything about streaming not being for me, a lot of people agree with me. When I tweet about exclusives, a lot of people agree with me. So I know from my own audience that they prefer exclusives over game streaming. Mm-hmm. Um, I got a lot of, a lot of super chats was popping here. Uh, hold on. I'm gonna do a poll one day. I'm gonna do a poll. Do you, would you would you like to see? Nate, just be Nate... careful with the poll. You're gonna attract the. the no, no, native. <laughs> I'm gonna put. I'm gonna put. Would you like to see? What would you like to see go? Native hardware, physical game releases. If I can fit it in. Hmm. Or, or no, no, you know what I mean. I'm yeah, gonna give yeah. them an option. Do you prefer game streaming or do you prefer? Owning your console and owning your games. And I want to see how that poll turns out. I guarantee the people that are going to say they prefer game streaming, they're all Xbox gamers. Yeah, more than likely. Uh, the Raven Flow, $5 Super Chat. He says Microsoft uh, took Halo and Gears from PC gamers because they saw they had a lead on 360. It's all bullshit. Basically, he's referring to their uh, decisions with the exclusive argument with Xbox One. Uh, Jack said Ryan spent too much time on Xbox. No comment, Jack. No comment. No comment. No comment. <laughs> Even though yeah. don't true. listen, this, man. This don't listen true. to me though, because if gaming does go in the future where you can't own a console anymore, I'll still be playing games. But until that day, I'm gonna always be buying physical, and everything's physical until I've got no choice. Because I'm not gonna stop being a gamer because. You can no longer fucking own a console. Do you get what I'm saying? I love the, I love being a gamer too much, but I'm not I'm not part of that future. I don't yeah. want to. I don't really. If I have my choice, fuck that shit. Yeah. Well, I mean, again, I just don't uh-huh. think. I think streaming. I I was I was honestly laughing at the people who felt threatened by streaming. I'm like, they're still seven to ten years away, but they're the technology that. Is going is coming like Oracle and Google. They're working on the yeah, but yeah, but the thing, yeah, but you say that you say that it's ten years away, but those those Xbox gamers are brainwashed today. Oh no no no, you're right. And it's, They're it's brainwashed. About they've their been kids. brainwashed. Yeah. They've been brainwashed ten years in advance. Yeah, well, they got dropped on their head. I mean, they're moist. I mean, so who cares what they? No, but think, think about right? that. Imagine your brainwashed so hard mm-hmm. that you're brainwashed ten years in preparation. <laughs> shout no, out to, I mean, yeah, uh, it's about their kids. Shout out to Solid Rev, the uh, destroyer of controllers. What's up, man? <laughs> In the uh, chat. Yeah. Oh, uh, Spark and I wanted to know do we, if, if the consoles get delayed till 21, I think we answered this, but uh, he wanted to know from the panel is that, is, is, do we care about if the consoles get delayed to 21? The consoles or just PS5? Just both. The consoles. Listen, listen I've, I've got plenty to play. Really, here's so the thing. There's plenty to play. That's the thing. It, it wouldn't be a big loss at all. I can yeah. wait another year. I want, yeah. I mean, preferably it comes out tomorrow, but I can wait another year. <laughs> yeah, take it with a grain of salt. We're making some information tomorrow, guys. <laughs> oh, everybody has a backlog, huh? So many people got. Yeah, I just got to finally Bro, start playing that Nier Automata. My God, <laughs> Nier Automata. You know people, people nasty. might sound, people might sound crazy, but I'm so hyped for PS5 that I rarely play on my PS4 now on my Pro because I want to enjoy those games on the PS5. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm you know the same way, bro. I'm, I'm more playing Nintendo Switch. And and on my PC because I want to I want to forget about those games that are now fresh in my head. It's not prime time. I want to forget about those games. So when PS Five comes and I put the disc in, it's like, oh man, this is sexy. <laughs> hey, the PS Five, like you got something to look forward to, dude. Like you know, Sony's gonna bring the exclusives at the end of the day. Like you know, I hope this whole back compat. Like I I hope Drive Club, I can pop it in and it's enhanced in some sort of way, bro. 
You know, I, you know. It will be. You'll get natural enhancements by brute force. You'll get yeah. better, um, like uh, texture filtering. You know, like yeah. what Xbox X does. Mm. Yeah, dude. They you know, you can clean. see better texture filtering. You can see yeah. better. Um, you know, on the. Hmm. Oh, he cut out. He cut out. But shit, I mean, we were arguing. Me and Spartan arguing about that car. I mean, the Drive Club looks better than fucking anything out there, bro. I swear to God, when it rains. Uh, yeah, the weather. The weather. Oh my God, bro. Club. Drive Club Jeez. is on another level, yeah. bro. It's so yeah. sad they left. They're down yeah, there. They, they closed the studio, didn't they? Or did they just? Yeah. Move? They they closed closed Sony, but they just stopped. Oh, okay. I know they but dude, the know. point is, the point is, the PS5. Everybody's like, so, so the PS5. Everybody knows, like, there's gonna be games there that, like, you're gonna want to play, and you only can play in the PS5. That's what's so, that's what's so awesome about PlayStation. Like on the X, if you've got a decent PC, like you don't need, you don't need an X, regardless on how strong it is. If you have a PC, you already have an X. Like, I'm sorry, because you can upgrade that. Like, yeah. you might not have an X. Like in terms of power right now, but in a week from now you can go buy a new GPU and it, you know what I mean? Like it's they killed their own brand, bro. Like people say, what are you talking about? No, like they killed the brand when it comes to consoles. Like yeah, it's Game Pass a great deal for three dollars, and I can have three. You know, it's just I feel bad. Man. I want Microsoft. No, I mean, they've, they've, Microsoft. they've been moving. They've been moving in this direction though. When you look at what Phil Spencer has said in the past. And yeah, I get it, the fanboys said, ah, oh, that's not what he meant. But I, that's why I'm glad he and Matt Booty have come out and pretty much said, yeah, hey, look, we're we not trying to compete with Sony and or Nintendo. And uh, so it, it ended, like I said, it, it ended a lot of people's podcasts. Yeah. Uh, because oh, they're, what are they going to talk about? Yeah. You know? I don't know how I missed these. I guess I didn't, it didn't pop on my screen. Listen, I'm um, Sony and Nintendo all the way. Yeah, I, I'm looking at Nintendo. I mean, I'm looking at that that thing, that UFO thing, only because it's called UFO, and I want something <laughs> called UFO in my house. I mean, it hasn't even look. been licensed yet, but okay, it hasn't been. Licensed yeah, that's fine. Out. I mean, they call out and come out call the UFO. I think it's still an R and D, man. It might be. You yeah. might not ever see the UFO. Yeah, license. it may never come out. Yeah, <laughs> it, it may. Come come I mean, you, could, you know what? You could say I'm. You could say I'm brainwashed because when I play on Game Pass, Game Pass, my mind tells me this ain't worth nothing. Cause I'm so used to owning the box. Yeah, half yeah. the games ah. on there, shit, you already played. <laughs> yeah, you got. Yeah, everybody, everybody, that's the to problem. Me they're fro- to me, they're throwaway. They're like Netflix. They're yeah. throwaway. Like throwaway yeah, like, classics that you played. Yeah, they're like those movies that are on Netflix, but then you can also watch them on YouTube for free. Game with, Pass with, with commercial. Hey, you know what's fucked up? They had Team Game Wolf Pass's on value is on PC. And they got that shit free right now on YouTube. I agree. To watch. I agree. You know that? Yeah, uh, yeah. That's just funny as hell. <laughs> yeah, you're right, Blaze. Now, I, I like Game Pass because I'm Po P O can't afford the O and the R, so I don't mind Game Pass. But um, yeah, I mean, but but that's, they the thing, that's the thing, though. When you don't, when you can't afford it, and you eventually get it, you treat well, it with yeah, such but, pride. You treat it with so much pride because you yeah. know what it took to get this game. That's true. You actually finish it and play it and enjoy it, not because it's just there. Let me try this. Let me try this. Never finishing this. Never finishing that. Let me try this. Let me try. Oh, I'm bored of this. Let me try this. That's, that's what, what it is on PC. Is. A lot of a lot of P. That's a lot of PC gaming. A lot of trying games. Ooh, look at the pretty visuals and drop it. Yo, Rev g- gave a good question. He said, "How many people are gonna have a PC as strong as a Series X?" Though I don't feel like it's a lot, and that's true because if these consoles yeah. are gonna be that powerful, I mean, really, I'm serious, dude. Well, it's gonna be if if Series X is gonna be, yeah, be, 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 be six hundred. You're not that far off from a PC anyway, so you might as well go the whole hog. Yeah, yeah. Right. Uh, and again, it's an a, it's an APU, and the consoles. Um, I mean, yeah, they'll be able to do 4K. They'll have some yeah. uh, base for rudimentary ray tracing. You know, hardware base. It's um, you're still going to be better off on console. But I, I get his question. That's a good question. Appreciate it. Uh, Game Pass yeah. is good for those who are on a budget. I uh, Rev yeah, like a good me. point because he, he said he's, it's for his kids. It's good. So, yeah, it's, yeah, it's good yeah, for, it's good for families. Like yeah, if, you for wanna, if you don't don't want to keep forking out money for your kids, that's different. Yeah. I'm talking yeah. about you. With your own income for yourself, so like I don't, I can't value Game Pass because for my kids, I definitely take it out if I had a bunch of kids because that saves me money. Like that's common sense. But in yeah. terms of me yeah. wanting to own it and cherish it and enjoy the experience, I want to own it, man. Yeah, yeah. And, and like I said, they, they, I mean, when they were saying they're gonna put The <laughs> Witcher on there, I'm like, didn't The Witcher three come out like <laughs> five years ago? What you, you know? What Fox? You know, for, <laughs> 
for the whole physical media, sorry, uh, Craig, I didn't mean no, to you did, off, but, um, no, you you're right. For like for Switch, I want to own every single game. I and I know you're like you own you buy everything physical, right, Fox? Like yeah, everything. Yeah, yeah. All my Switch cases are right in front of me. But even on PS4, I'm saying, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, the only time I'll buy a game digitally is if it's ridiculously cheap in a sale, and I didn't care about it on day one. Gotcha. See, I'm this generation. I don't know what happened. I think Game Share is under. Now I'm not talking about Game Pass. Game Share meaning like you know two people can share an account. And I think that's such a great value, like where like you buy a game or you guys throw money half on. Yeah, because at, at least someone put it. into it. At least someone right. put into the pot. You know what it is though. Like you say, say you have a pro. Everybody's got these pros with like a terabyte external drive, and you got all these games installed. Rev told me this shit. Like I got all these games installed, and I'm like, there's nothing to play. And he's like, well, that's because you got all these games installed, and you're just looking. You know, like if you keep a couple games installed, you're, you'll be more driven to play. Yeah, exactly. Those games. Let me tell you, you something, know? right? You know, on Netflix, you got movies like Casino, wherever you know. I own Casino, 4K Blu-ray. But I, I can watch it on 4K on Netflix. But you, I don't respect the, the Netflix version more than I respect the one I own. For some reason, I, I, have, well, the, I hold a higher value in it. For well, some the stream, reason. The stream version, because I just did this with in-game, the stream version of in-game on Disney+, Plus, which is 4K native and, and t HDR10, it still doesn't look as good as the physical it yeah, has a course. softer, has a softer look, yeah, and I like even, that hard. It's not look. even the way it looks. It's not even the way it looks. It's just the fact that it belongs to me. <laughs> oh, no, I that. Yeah, yeah, and you got you mine. got the fiscal in your hand. I don't have to pay. You, I don't have to pay you to watch it again. I already own it. I don't have to sign up to you. See, Fox, I'm too lazy, dude. Because I, I get bored and I like swap. I can't. I can't be sitting there changing. Dude. I'm just too lazy. I oh, wish. I love that. Bro, that's part of the experience for me. So yeah. I used to swap three discs for one game on the PS1, Final Fantasy VII. Yeah, Xbox 360 owners know what's up, right? Ten discs for GTA V. There you go. You see, I, I'm used to swap disc swapping. In fact, I find it as a, a a good excuse to get a little exercise. Get up, go and walk across the room, stick it in there. No, I get it. There's some sort of like, uh, it's just like it's part a console of, experience. For me, it's part of the experience. It's part of the yeah. experience. I don't like having to just sit there and scroll through a list of games like for me that's crazy it's, it's, to too, me, it's too available it's too i don't like on demand to be honest i like putting some effort in get out of here bro this is like no way dude i, I like i like the idea of opening the disc case taking the disc out and or the, smelling the it i like that I'm with not you smelling it not smelling I like it smelling that shit, bro. i used to do that i used to do that but i'm over that fetish now <laughs> But, but the, the idea of taking it out of the case and just feeding it into the system, listening to the motor, suck it in, and then watching that game load, rather than just sit there and flip through. I don't know. I'm old school, man. I, you know, I, I'm the guy that used to sit there with a tape cassette playing on a computer, and every level you had to load it on a cassette tape. I'm talking about 45 minutes per level. That's me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's that's dude. I look at it like this: you come home, you're tired, you put in the disc, you're like, ah, oh, you know what? I'm not even gonna play this, and you're like, you get, I don't you're know. More I just... like, you know, you're more likely to finish the game as well because if you can't be right. to get up, the game's in there. Play it, motherfucker. Play. Yeah, it. you're right. You're right. <laughs> that's facts. You really will end up finishing the game more if you have to. If you got to get up nice. and do all that, you know, it's not a lot of work, but it's just, you know, I. Like I said, when it comes to the Vita and the Switch, I'm all physical. I love the physical aspect of this, especially for the Switch, because it's like you get this experience on this tiny little cart. There's something so cool about that. Thing. It's like this, like the Witcher 3 on a uh, Dark Souls, for an example, on a tiny cart. And I know it's going to it's going to be mine forever. It's, it's weird and gay as that sounds. I think it's just awesome. I'm like, wow. I'm old. I'm 37. Old as the hills. There you go. See, I think old. I would have thought, Fox, as you got older, you would have been tired of it. Like, you know what, man? Just let me, let me swap. Well, gaming. It. Yeah, like a tired, not tired of gaming, like that too, but like tired of swapping. Di Look, I'm no, just saying for no, PS4, no. And Xbox. Listen, listen. You know what? You know what? Dude. Swapping, swapping this to me is like having sex. But I'll never get tired of it, man. <laughs> what? I'll never, I'll never get tired of putting it in. Tired of putting it in, bro. Put it in. Get it in that slot. Yeah, I, yeah, I, <laughs> I, 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 yeah, I prefer physical media all 100, <laughs> 100 out of 100 times. Yeah, so. 
But um, yeah. So, no, but, but you know what it is? It's boring though. Stress, no, right? think about it though. It's boring. It's boring. Like, it's boring having all these games on your hard drive. Hundreds of games. You never have to get up, move. You just push a button. No, no wonder people aren't finishing their games. Mm-hmm. There's no effort required these days. But you know what, Fox? I'll say this. Look, you know what made me switch? Not only the all digital and the game share, that was a main reason. But look, you buy these games nowadays, right? You take it home. You open it up. They got a black and white manual. There's like one skinny piece of paper. You put the game in. There's not even the full game on the disc anyway. You got to download a 25 gig patch. It's like, man, I might as well be digital. What is this? You, you give no, me that a is disc, true. That, and I got to download a 25 day one patch. Like, what? You know what? Yeah, unless, 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 unless effort goes unless, to oh, giving you much has, in the education. Has anyone here ever done this? No. This is how much of a gamer I am. I used to buy computer magazines back in the day when I was like six years old. Like and Game in Informer the, types and, of? and in these magazines, you had pages of code. You just had to type it in basic into your computer, and it would be a game. It would take you maybe weeks to type it in, and you'd make mistakes and have to check why you, which symbol you pressed wrong. It would be like go to and this, and it's like basic language. Like, and you'd make your own, like you, you'd pro- program your own games. It's, it's listed for you. You just have to copy it onto your computer. Like, but I did that, and I'd get like bootleg versions of Pac-Man, Pac-Man, and Space Invaders, and it would be free. Well, it's I bought the magazine, but in the back of the magazine, you know, there what was I mean? like a but there was like a, a code, like a encrypted code or something. No, no, it was the whole game in wow. code. You type in the code yourself. You remember pages, game demos in the magazine? Pages of code. <laughs> you remember the game demos, Fox? You'd buy like yeah, a- yeah. That's that's what came next. But before they gave you discs. Before they gave you stuff on front of magazines, you had to type it in yourself. Yeah. Hmm. You had to be your own it. developer. Take one bit. But I'm, I'm a gamer. Huge, I'm, I've been gaming so long. One person used to make games. They used to port arcade games on my computer, like Outrun. It would be done by one person. They do the music, the whole game. It would be done in their bedroom. Yeah. You wouldn't need a studio. Mm. One person make these games. Arkanoid, <laughs> all the arcade games, Pac Land. One person's doing it. ER Kung Fu, Green Beret, all of these games that used to be in the arcades. One person's doing the whole game. Yeah. Now you need 300 people, 200 is, um, people. Oh. I have a question. Is the stream <laughs> acting weird? Well, okay, no. Okay, never mind. That was just my OBS. That's, okay, that's weird. All right. Uh, shout out to J- uh, Jemai Addiction. This says 22 minutes ago. So, shit, I didn't even see this. Shout out to him for the two hours Super J. He says, we hate the Epic uh, Store because it's trash. PC Master Race. It is bare bones. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it really is. This it's, got control. it's got control on there. Yeah, put Sovereign. Put uh, on my girl. Yeah. Uh, Sovereign Happy birthday, Kigito. Chris. Chris is turning 38 in seven minutes, you old bastards. Keep Happy gaming. Birthday. You Happy birthday. birthday, team, man. Happy birthday. She's coming out. Show us. 100th episode of RGT. Uh, Sovereign uh, Kagito. Um, he uh, donated a five dollar super chat. He said, "Boys, boys, hold up! Google and Amazon will be Sony's and Nintendo's competition. Don't get it twisted." <laughs> and the Raven Flow, another super Listen, chat. Listen, I'm, I'm going to be gaming, and I'm going to be gaming until I have arthritis or things that I can't hold a controller no more. That's the only <laughs> thing that's going to stop me gaming is old, fragile age. Because I'm going to be, if I, I want to be gaming into my 70s, if I live that long, my 80s, I don't want to stop. I don't, I'm never too old to game, bro. You know, I'm going to be, I'm yeah. going to be the most razor sharp old man there is. Because I'm going to be. So you're going to be like uh, Stan Lee. Because I was shot to Stan Lee. Still no, no. As much you know what? My hand and eye coordination. I'm going to be quicker than the average old person my age because I'm a gamer. Oh yeah, Fox. So you're telling me when you're at 70 years old, you're gonna get want to get up with your cane and change the disc? Yeah, right. <laughs> you ain't gonna want to no, change no, no disc. Day, when they, in them days, you ain't even have a console. <laughs> yeah, but you'll have your old ones to fall back on if you want to play them. No, nah, no, nah, they probably we we'll probably we we'll running off electricity by then. We're we'll probably running off everything's gonna be different kind of power source. Kids will legit no, they want to use the human karate masters fighting with like augment reality while we. The world is changing so yeah. fast that when I reach seventy or eighty, I don't even think we'll have petrol cars anymore, gas cars. It'll all be electric. Everything will be changed. <laughs> Shout out to Ravenflow. Uh, appreciate the support again. Two dollars from Jay says impulse spending heightens lack of attention. 
That's what he said. Listen, all I know is when I game, <laughs> I'm not causing no problems in the world. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. I'm pl- I'm gaming. I'm not bothering nobody. Nobody bothering ain't bothering. The, you're bothering the Xbox guys that can't play. <laughs> 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 I save oh, money. Lord. Believe it or not, I own all the consoles. Yeah, I save more money than my friends who don't even game. Because my friends, they go out every weekend. Dude, they, fast. They spend like Reach a thousand. It. They spend a thousand a month on there you go. chasing chasing girls. And they got women already at home, but they want to spend money chasing women, getting drunk, being obnoxious. And I'm a gamer, and I'm saving more money than they are. Right. <laughs> there you go. Bro, it's so true. You go out, oh, one more drink, then by the time you know you're coming home at 3 o'clock. I go out, though. Don't get me wrong. I do go out, but I don't go out religiously. I game religiously, but I don't go out religiously. Like, because I feel, I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm set. Like, I got everything I want. Like, I'm not out there looking for nothing. Yeah. Uh, let me see here. Okay, so those are the main topics. So I got I think two left, and we'll shut it down. Um, Ubisoft. I think it was one for Ubisoft, right? Let me see. Where are my notes? Yeah. Ubisoft confirmed they have five AAA PS5 games coming within April 2020 to uh, March 2021. So my question was going to be for you guys is what you guys think those games are. Now, me personally, since uh, Beyond Good and Evil, I don't think that's coming this gen at all. That game is probably in developmental hell. We haven't seen no gameplay for it. That's more (laughs) likely one of them. Um, Obviously... There was the new Assassin's Creed. What was it Ragnarok? That was the one, something like that. That one more likely is number two. Must be Empire. Empire might be three. Yeah. I, I keep I keep hearing different different um, leaks. So what it. will come out or won't come out? Well, it will be coming out. These games okay. will be coming out. Will be coming. I see another Assassin's Creed maybe making it. Yeah. Yeah. 2020, 2021. Why do they hate Splinter so? You know, I, this is the thing. Splinter Cell kind of just like, I don't know. It's like, it's Be on people's radar, say now. but people Be sleeping careful. on it. They're sleeping hard on that. They're snoring on it. Yeah, Splinter Cell I haven't is heard fucking nothing about Splinter Cell. Like, I know people want it, though. There are fans who really it's want a Splinter It's a popular game, though, man. We miss Sam Fisher. Bring him back. What you know fuck? what they're yeah. doing just to quiet people down? They keep throwing them in Wildlands as like a playable yes. character. That's not enough. Like People want a full campaign. It's like because Kojima's not making Metal Gear. They say, well, fuck it. We want to do fucking Sam Fisher no more then. Yeah. The last one was Blacklist, I think, I believe. And Blacklist? It was co-op. That game was awesome. Yeah. So I guess you know, here's a question to add on to that. Are y'all okay with this? <laughs> what? Yeah. Okay with, with these what? games coming Well, Watch Dogs Legion is coming too. Yeah, yeah, true. I forgot about Watch Dogs uh, Legion. I forgot about that. That game. I'm used to waiting. If you if listen, gamers are the most game's patient be as people as on the planet. We wait five years for a game. We're patient. Yeah. I don't think Watch Dogs uh, Legion is going to be as seamless as they like. They made it look like on uh, at E3. Fighting as old ladies. And yeah, shit. I don't think it's gonna be that scene. I think it's gonna be lo- you know low on the screen shit like that. I don't think it's gonna I be like. Watch they just the ball. Yeah, it looks cool. I like the concept. But I'm like, okay, really now? <laughs> yeah, like really. No one does it like Grand Theft Auto. I'm sorry. Yeah, I think that's what they were kind of going for with the first one. But we all all know how that they were. They were trying to they're go like a hackable Grand Theft Auto they're world. Bootleg, they're and all shit. bootlegs, Grand Theft Auto's bootlegs. Yeah. yeah, it's crazy. I don't know. People like the second one though. They might like Legion. If you like the second one, this one might be up your alley. I found the second one. The second one was too much stealth, man. Too much fucking stealth. Yeah, was yeah, that you're the point? No, I thought the first one was supposed to be guns. like that. Nah, 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 the first one was more. You could choose more action if you wanted to in the first one. No, ah, the second one was beautiful though. God, it was. The beautiful. second one, you got all these guns, and you could you didn't really have to use them. You only had to creep around. Hmm. Pointless. All these guns. You had a machine that made guns. Yeah. Like, oh yeah, yeah Skull and Bones guns. is another one. Skull and yeah, Bones I, is still dropping. Play, yeah. Isn't that still dropping? Yeah. Okay. I like I like I tell you the best thing about Watch Dogs 2. What what I found was really groundbreaking and genre defining. It done it better than Grand Theft Auto. You know the incidental details of all the citizens doing mm-hmm. their little thing. Yeah, like, like, I felt like I felt like they really nailed that. All they the did. citizens yeah. looked amazing that, like yeah. with their actions. Like they all had their little routines. Uh-huh. But the game itself was boring. 
creeping around offices, hacking into shit all the time. Fuck that, man. It was hacking funny showing, is like, like the worst income. part of games, by the yeah. way. Like, do they know that people hate hacking? And they like, had a cast. They had a cast of characters that were pretending to be young twenty somethings. They look like thirty somethings. Yeah, hacking, uh, Blaze, to add on what you said, hacking, it works for certain games. Like, for example, and I'm surprised, uh, I'm surprised, I wasn't talking to Fox about this, I'm surprised Fox C was even playing this game on the Switch, but because you brought up hacking, I just brought up my, that uh, question I was going to ask. Uh, it was for Alien Isolation. But, ha- yeah, but it's but, different. It's a yeah, horror it's, game. Yeah, the pace is totally hacking different. Hacking works. It works it's in certain slow. genres. When you're playing games. a game that's slow, hacking's okay. Yeah. But if you're playing a game that pretends it's action as well, like, it kind of. Spider Man had that same problem. Yeah, it did. Like, why it were hacking we doing and then had games? like chemical making and stuff like that? That was different. Well, I didn't was, mind it. They were just, you know they were alien just giving you. It was like filler. Alien Isolation was like a walking simulator with guns because you move around so slow in that game. It might yeah. as well be a walking simulator. But I love it. Yeah. And I love walking simulators. I finished them all. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm actually surprised you were playing. Um, uh, Alien Isolation. That's what I was surprised by. Why? I finished. I played it in 2014. I, I didn't even know you played it. I thought you uh, I didn't even it like it. One on the PS4, man. So I didn't even know you liked it. I, I, I never like, finished Whoa. it on the PS4. Though. I didn't finish. Oh, it. you never finished it. Okay. okay. I'm, no, but I'm at the end on Switch though. And oh, you at the I end? To, yeah, I'm right at the end. I've got a. There's this. Uh, I've got to overload some kind of core to yeah, blow up. Yeah, and you're at the um, you're yeah, in the there's high all these five. robots around. There's all these robots around. I'm outside, and there's yeah. all these robots around. Oh, okay. And, like okay. they keep strangling me, man. Is it Do like in an office? Is it like by an office? No, I got to set off all these machines. Yeah, it's like a big circle, but it's like in a reactor core. Those white uh, pill machine uh robots. The, an- the, like um, rea- the, the working Joe. Core, yeah. The working Joe. It's at the end of the game. Like I've already. Like, yeah. I've. I've I, they're they're I've, malfunctioning I've with, Joes. I've with, I've with the first, you know the first alien that you get in contact with. Yeah. Handled him, or her, and ended up in some underground alien place where all their eggs are, mm. like, and them face huggers come out. Done all that. And then I've come out, and it's telling me you got overload the reactor core. To yeah, you're pretty the much. Nest. You're pretty much. You know the nest. Like yeah, I got to destroy the nest. But the problem is, like, I'm low on fucking all kinds of shit that I need to survive. Oh wow! And it's like <laughs> eight or nine of these robots, these androids, and they don't. You can't just electrocute them like the normal ones. Like they got these suits on, so you really got to just keep running away from them. And but they keep. Oh, it's ridiculous. Yeah. I love it. I love it. I love the, <laughs> I love it when I die in a game sometimes because if you know a game's good when it's got that one more go factor. You know, you keep saying one more go, one more go. What, yeah. You keep dying, but you keep trying. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah, how you know that, you're playing that a game. That game's atmosphere is on another level, bro. Yo, it's crazy. I'm um, about Alien uh, Isolation. I, that's one of the games I would hope gets a sequel. It was it was really, really deserving of a sequel. I uh, said, what about good time, and evil, good, Beyond Good and Evil? I actually talked about that earlier. Yeah, we, we already talked about it, uh, Samurai. But um, yeah, if they do a sequel, they need to, like, the pacing's excellent until you get to the end. No, too the much end, backtracking in the, the, the last three No, no, chapters. it's not even the backtracking. I don't mind the backtracking. Not too much in the like last three. Towards chapter. the end, the alien just keeps showing up every fucking two, 30 fucking seconds, every 60 seconds. Yeah. Like, so you're literally going from one spot to another. It's like you're moving in slow motion because this fucker keeps turning up, so you got to go hide again. Mm-hmm. Like, he turns up too much. Like, it's like he keeps coming back to the same place. And sometimes he stays there for like five minutes. Like I'm, I'm, I love the game. Don't get me wrong, but imagine you're just sitting there for five minutes waiting to move. <laughs> you know the game's good if you're prepared to put up with that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what do you got? One more topic, Ryan? Uh, let me try to say. Do I have one? Hold on. Oh, Yaki talk. Yaki talk. Yaki talk. One sorry. Let me see. Nah. If I have one. <laughs> To end the show off of, um, oh yeah, I did. It was one last one. This was the last one. So that UI thing that we saw last time, yeah, I remember it was showing like a PS4 ish looking UI. There was another one supposedly that was shown, but it was different. So you know, like the little when you press up on the D pad on the PS4 UI, you got like the three, um, like you have like the different um, selections up top and B? settings. Yeah, on the like XMB. the yeah. 
how it looks on this one is when you press down to get more details of the game, that stuff that's up top is at the bottom. Just give you more of a representation of what you're looking at. That's at the bottom, and um, it has like a different look, but it's pretty much it looks exactly pretty much the same from what I'm looking at here. It looks the same. That Just was freshen actually freshen it up, you know. Yeah, it's like a, it's like they're trying to freshen it up, but also keep it keep the same flow, but offer a little bit of a different you know look. Like yeah, it's the same, but at the same time it kind of is it, but really it, it kind of is. You know, like people. That's that's a good thing. idea, Ryan people underestimate the ui in the fucking console like a ui is super important yep. like the fact that in playstation the ui like it can no there's some serious slowdown in that playstation ui sometimes but yeah um the fact you can make customize it make it your own with themes i'm not talking about microsoft themes change the color of the blocks and add a picture like like the dynamic themes on playstation like i have are so dope. many like are so dope dude they're so cool bro i like this is the ps3 yeah, they got four. The PS3 ones were awesome, but they got like 4K ones. It's just, I can't mm -hmm. wait to see the UI. Just something as small as UI, I'm, I can't wait, bro. Yeah, they got some that they do the, um, they got the movement. Like they did, they, they're a lot of cool, a lot of cool ones, uh, to the to the whole thing. So, um, a lot of stuff offered. Uh, I guess Foxy's internet went out again. I don't know. Discord's messing up, people, man. Um, man, it was a fun show, man. It was episode 100 of the RGT podcast. Definitely mm -hmm. fun. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Definitely good to be back. To me, huge fair. Hit that like button if you guys enjoyed today's show. Definitely let everybody do their outros. And we're going to shut it down, man. The yeah. Messiah, you are first, my friend. What's up, Pablo? Ah, thanks for having me. Episode 100. All right, all right, all right. Shout out to you and Carlos. Uh, so uh, getting, getting some feedback today on some things off of Amazon. And uh, so just seeing how that's going to turn out may end up with a new GPU. Okay. Uh, don't 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 know yet. A Amazon's got a. Uh, I talked to Amazon and and because uh, there's things you can buy um, get on on installment on Amazon. And um, so uh, I've been talking to them. I may get that 5700 after all. Uh, so uh, I don't know yet though. But um, but yeah, thanks for having me. Uh, always a pleasure. And uh, shout out to the chat and uh, to the special guest here, Blaze, for coming on and saying, hey, shout out to Foxy. Carlos, I know he, he stopped in early. but I Yeah, I don't know. Out. I don't know if his internet went out or he had yeah, to work. I don't, I don't know. Up, yeah. I don't know. I don't even have the answers. <laughs> Discourse messing up today. I don't know. I don't have the answers. Nah. <laughs> I'll yeah, hit him up so, after um, for sure, though. But shout but, out to Carlos but, as well. But yeah, the console war is over. I'm going to have a podcast tomorrow morning, just kind of celebrating the end of it. Okay. And uh, the, my, my big UFO podcast, I'll I'll do tomorrow as well. Make sure you so play the Age of Aquarius. Everybody will what what kind of TPU do you have right now, currently? <laughs> right now? Me? Yeah. I've got the world's most powerful GPU, at AMD 580, this overclock. So I don't know what that <laughs> means. Take that, put it in the toilet, flush it, and then take it out and clean it, and then put it in your PC. <laughs> Oh, no, it's, it works. It works real good. So, so I, I make it. I make it another one though. They, they got some on Amazon that I'm looking at. So, uh, hey, go, go, go. You're trying to make them blow this damn patient, system? Are you crazy? <laughs> if you, if you're patient, you you can get like a nice, a nice. You know, I don't know if they're gonna call it the 30 series. You never know what uh, Nvidia, but dude, come yo. If you guys don't know, like we be playing golf. Me and Ryan be in the Discord till like five in the morning every night. Mm -hmm. So like come through, let's play some golf, bro. We be playing mini golf. Yeah, it's on PC, but it's literally yeah, fun. Yeah, yeah, fun. Yeah, mad no, fun, bro. It's just fun. But bro. um, I appreciate it. It was a great show, bro. Absolutely, um, man. Eight time. And you know, you you already know the deal, bro. Yeah, I do appreciate it, man. Thank you so much for coming through. I'm definitely going to hit up Mr. Solar Rev. We're going to get a one on one here very soon. I'm definitely going to help make yeah, sure. Yeah, you need to do that. Shout yeah. out to my son Pablo too. <laughs> Your son Pablo. <laughs> shout out to uh, Foxy Games UK. I don't know if he can jump in, but he's probably uh, he probably did that too. So shout out to him and everybody again. Thank you guys so much for watching. It was an awesome show. I do appreciate it. Like always, everybody for the support. Yes, videos will be back first thing either Sunday or Monday. But I will definitely be uploading back again. So until then, y'all be blessed. Y'all be easy. Much love. Thank you guys again. And uh, we'll see you guys next week for episode 101, which is uh, crazy. 100 episodes, people. 100 episodes in the book. What a journey. <laughs> see you guys later. Y'all be blessed.